Welcome everyone. I have so much to bring you today, so I want to get right into it. Let's go ahead and take a few deep breaths. Another deep breath. deep breath. I'm just getting this energy of like uh, around the world clearing and then two symbols coming together very slowly and then rubbing your hands together, which I'm going to do right now. <sighs> Sending lots of love and blessings out to everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. It is a beautiful day here. It's actually quite warm. It's been very interesting energies this week. Uh, kind of mixed energies, nothing terrible. But I did have a birdie's nest. Um, the eggs were knocked out by my back door a couple days ago, and then another egg was knocked out this morning. But I had actually thrown out a couple of eggs as well yesterday, but that was after the first egg fell out of the nest. And I was wondering what was taking from the nest, and I saw the nest in the bush next to my back door. But also a deer was outside my back door, the other day and Teddy went running after him, which scared the crap out of me. And then, um, and he was right there as soon as I opened my back door, which never happens here. Um, and I have a fence around my yard too. And the deer jumped over the fence. And then this morning, I think it was a beaver, which I never see either outside my back door, but that's what Teddy was trying to figure out who was under our deck. And that was the, the beaver. <laughs> So, of course, he wanted to go running after him, too, but I gave the beaver a, a good running head start so that Teddy wouldn't get him. And um, who else came to visit? Yeah, a lot of interesting little visits at my back door. And also, um, I don't know if you can hear Teddy chewing on his bone, but as I was doing my three deep breaths, I was very aware of him chewing on the bone. So give a dog a bone actually was a message that came up in the messages today, which I'll get into very profound messages today. Um, but um, any triggers you feel regarding noises or perhaps Teddy gnawing on his bone while I'm trying to talk again, remind it to just come back to center and transmute those energies. So let's go ahead and roll the die. I'm going to pull these bowls out of here and Let's see if I can get that in there without making too much noise. Okay, and I lit some sage beforehand, but that sage doesn't last very long. It tends to go out pretty easily. There may be another message there, something that's not that easy to clear. Perhaps it needs multiple clearings. From the die for the Twin Flames today, today is May 12th, 2023. And May 14th has been coming up over and over and over again. I even saw it on the door on an apartment in a movie that I watched the other night. And that was actually with Mrs. Cosby in, I think the movie, it was for colored girls. I think I saw that many years ago, but I watched it again. Again, there's a lot of trauma in that. It's supposed to be clearing for people who feel like committing suicide. So that might be a theme coming up in the collective as well. So let's go ahead and roll the die. I was just getting Lady Die, Princess Die. All right, we have eight. Um, and I went to go for the, I think it was the Taurus Die first, but I went to the eight instead, and there's a message there too I'm getting. So the eight is the strength card, inner and outer strength. It has to do with manifesting dreams as well, of, as, well as doing the dance between the masculine and feminine. Of course, that's August as well and Leo. And then we have the moon, which is cancer energies. And again, the subconscious energies coming up, romance, a lot of romance and heart stuff coming up this week. 
And then we have Taurus, and I actually had a Taurus stay overnight last night, so that's interesting too. So again, Taurus still in the North Node, but only until July 18th. And again, uh, kind of focusing for Taurus right now, especially Taurian people, um, what it is they learned over the past year and a half regarding their leadership and their direction, because it's kind of given you a boost to now go off and do that. So, and then letting go of Scorpio on the South Node as we go into July. And then we have Cancer coming up in July, June to July, and then August is coming up as well. So now in Taurus, through August, Leo, which are both fixed signs, there's a significant energy here of romance. And June has been coming up all year for me as romance in June, like um, the moon in June, spooning in June, all that kind of energy keeps coming up. So, and I'm holding this stone, just picked it for whatever reason this morning. I forget what this one's called, but it's pretty obvious what it looks like. So you can look that up if you'd like to. It's kind of like a, a, a taupey brown sparkly. Okay, so I'm st all the reads and messages I have for you today range from the 9th through to today. And we're going to start with, and by the way, Cancer is a cardinal sign. I didn't say that. So the two fixed as the book ends, and then the cardinal sign in the middle, which is a romance with the moon. We just had the eclipse, and we're probably... We had a, we're probably around a mid-moon right now, too, which is, again, bringing up that middle ground here, the more balanced state between the full moon and the new moon. So this first message we have here, um, I just pulled a couple um, from my Fortunes Oracle. Okay, The underlying energy for me is always on the left, and then the cards I pulled on the right. And... Um, we had the, um, that underlying energy there of fire after the full moon, and this was pulled at 4.03 on the 9th. The 4 and the 3 have been coming up repeatedly, too, of the emperor and the empress with space between, which also references the square and the triangle. And the underlying energy of fire after the full moon, the 21, which is that card, which also brings up Pisces for me, but some may say that's cancer, but very cancer energies with the full moon. The 15 of the key, and then Pisces and Capricorn letting go of the past and moving forward with intuition with the 10 card fire and embracing renewal with the first card out, which was the sun, and the number 30, which is union, open to growth of the union and the sun. The 16 of the lion, harnessing the loyal and protective qualities of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. With the 25 Phoenix and the Knight of Wands, be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. Burning down and with the, and instead of writing sun, I wrote 8 UN for whatever reason. That might be a message for you. But again, burning down and with the sun and lion's roar, inspired to rise through that ring of fire, birthing with a rebel yell. And then I was getting the Tarzan yell, ah, uh, 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 okay. So the 36 with a map of the world and rising intent, where 36 is Atlas in the way to the world, burning off the lion's heart in the rising of the ego to the feminine ego. A whole new world. After the rocket takes off and gets to space, all of a sudden, silencing of the lamb. So get that feeling, right? The, the, the violence of the blast and taking off to space and then finally getting to the anti-gravity and then just sudden peace. From the lion to the lamb, and spirits connecting with me, the jets and suns, the end of a day, so the new day will dawn through the dark night of the soul to climb the hill again, but now from earth to off planet, as who is on first base, to what is second, to where on third, and home again in four, the L and one of four, the lambda or lamb to father leap. And then it was coming up as the tax day to cash in your chips, the end of the race. I keep getting the end of the journey has arrived. So it came up as the end of the race at 4.15, again, tax day. 
the human race. And remember, I told you about Elena Danan's video where she had the Altians talk to us about our origins that were from the planet Mon in Pegasus, and we are called Who, H-U. That's where human came from. So we're the Who's from Mon, and here comes the human race. The Who from planet Ma, Mon, and the race, which is the ray of the CE, which is the seal, but also the C for that Christ consciousness. The who from Mon at daybreak, or that ray seal, the sunrise, the seal of the ray in 80 days, or 8D days, supporting the dance of source embodiment. M's, or in Pleiadian, the Pleiadian she god is called Imana, according to Elena Danan, and I was call her M, which M is also co-creation, M's body of intent here. So again, supporting the dance of source embodiment, M's body of intent, co-creation of avatar or your body with the soul's map of intent, that the intent, the tent is only temporary condition as Spanky and Alfalfa and gang lions or ganglions, again, referencing the eye, have opened up the gates to the stallions or the stall lions. So as Spanky and Alfalfa and gang lions have opened up the gates to stall lions, sourcing the horse, of course, of course, of course then comes up as the office of human arse times two. So like a two-man horse, except it's the arse or mule or ass. The two-who horse. Like Cindy Lou Who, no longer the butt of his jokes, but at the head of his lower half. On that, and remember I said about the lower half because that'll come up in another way in alchemy in another read. So um, I had run after that, and when I was at one cross street, two crows flew over my head and landed in the tree across the street that I just passed. And they both landed in the tree and then one took off again and went back farther where I had just run from. But they both looked at me as they flew across the street. It was pretty cool. And then as I was headed home, you know how sometimes there's marking on the streets from whatever work they're doing. I literally saw a genie's and Aladdin's lamp on the street, right? The block that I always run on, um, a block away from my house. And it was an imprint on the street the genie in the bottle, the Aladdin's lamp, as I go into this next message um, with starting off the lover's oracle at the top. Okay, so we have the tea leaves and then my half deck of Rider Waite at the bottom, which just has mo mainly characters. Okay, so here are the lover's oracle, the tea leaves, and then my half deck. And again, the left is the underlying energies. I usually pull three cards, but not necessarily. Sometimes it'll come out less. Sometimes it might come out one more. And then whatever residual cards come out, I use for numerology and additional like kind of summarization of the messages that were coming out. So at 509, I pulled the Lovers, Lovers Oracle, which actually was the person's birthday who stayed, the Taurus, who stayed overnight. Um, 509 on May 9th, it was that same day, the Lover's Oracle, and then at 5, 10, 11, and then 13 and 14 was the final deck, the Wheel of Fortune, Justice, and the Transition of the Death card, and the 14 of the Temperance card of the Angelic Energies, Patience and Balance, and that Higher Love. As the cards at the end of each deck that I count ended up being 1012 and 1099, because I'll count the first card that, or card or cards that comes out in the lump, but then I'll count all of those cards that were being guided to be pulled. So we had 10, 109, 1012 and 1099. And I then rewrote it as 101, which looks like the dinner table setting, right? The plate in the middle and the fork and knife on either side. 21 in the middle, which is the world, but also the feminine and the masculine, two and one. And then 099. And they're both, it was coming up as 101, 21, and then 099, which makes 21 or the whole, the world, 100 again. Right, 101, 100, 99. So it was really cool how that came out. The place setting and infinity 
the spotted Dalmatians and Agent 99, and remember 99 is that infinity energy, like it never nears the end. It always gets close to zero, zero, but never actually gets there. And then the, um, the energy of, I'm trying to think, was it Andromeda? So Andromeda and Pegasus had been coming up and the dragon lines as well. Um, apparently, according to Z, there was an Andromedan alignment, which is very interesting because a couple days prior to that, I'm like, I kept trying to, I was looking up online to see what planetary alignments there were because I was getting guided that there was a significant alignment, but I wasn't finding anything on anybody's site about an alignment. But on 5-6, she was talking about the Andromeda lining up with the Earth and the Sun. That was the coronation date. And um, this energy of the dragon lines being larger with more uh, undulations going on. And again, that was from Z. And um, so Andromeda come up. And of course, there's the ram in Andromeda. It's not spelled with an A, but it doesn't really matter because I go by sound. Um, so I was breaking down Ada and 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 Ram. And the energies were coming up as, <clears throat> and again, the ram, I keep losing my voice around the ram. Uh, there, and that card in the tea leaves keeps coming up too. Someone who's uh, not to cross because they're very arrogant and aggressive. And that's interesting because one of the definitions for ram is being a horse, like I'm horse now. Again, they'll lose their voice. Copper also comes up under there and the root, Aries. The framework, the branch, rancid bouquet, bunch, flight of stairs, the male rabbit or sheep. And then the knot and the paw was coming up as well. And the paw was coming up as the bear's paw. To wipe with both hands, rum and spring roll. Island, root, and island were coming up. So two islands coming together at the root. To breathe, whisper, imagine, gift, give stairs of copper framework, knotted at the root of house by the water, the island to exist, the goddess of fate, to be born, provide, and possess, father, daughter, elder, brother, and father, sister, and generations of brothers and sisters. And actually, I'm in Philadelphia area, which is the city of not just brotherly, but brotherly and sisterly love is the actual definition. So Andromeda is one drama, uh, can be one drama father or DA, dad, um, but also one Dr. Ama, and AMA is American Medical Association father, and then doctor in Andromeda to repel or drive away, or one repels a mother and father. So again, this energy of sister brother only was coming up as opposed to mothering or fathering. So, and this is where I'd taken uh, Teddy out back before dinner before our visitor had come and the deer was right there in the backyard and he raced after him and the deer jumped the fence. So at 541, which is the Hierophant, but five is also change and freedom and expansion, is the 41, which is the Ace of Cups or the Holy Grail, as I like to refer to it, um, embracing excitement of fireworks and dragon. And again, I get this energy of some kind of Asian celebration and there is the uh, Asian Valentine's Day is in August, too. I don't know what day it's in August this year. Sometimes it might be in July, the end. But I can't remember the name of the Chinese Valentine's Day. But that's coming up now as well. But the embrace of the excitement of fireworks and dragon, while aware of delusion of the Page of Wands, a child seeing something for the very first time. And that excitement that a child or teenager feels, right? That passion they feel but it still needs maturation, right? So we have the first card here of the hermit, who's good now, as you hold the magnetic 
and seductive qualities here and a blessing that will soon be revealed. Give thanks for the blessings soon to arrive that you deserve all of your heart's true desires. The underlying energy of the horse trot, August firecracker, after the journey where hell froze over and Pinocchio's nose stopped growing because they stopped lying, right? Someone, someone may have said, you know, they'll stop lying when hell freezes over. Well, it's saying now that hell actually froze over this past January where they stopped lying. The leg, the stork, yes. <laughs> Stepping into a new experience or opportunity, sudden spark to run and deliver news, the chariots of fire, as the underlying energy of the bird perched awaiting news with discord in the family that you are on the right path with the arrow and the teardrops and personal sorrow as the dragon becomes aware of their own self-delusion. And again, this could be coming up as the dragon lines too in the collective. The first card out then next was the lion and time to act where the lion's back is to the dragon. The fly is causing depression or ill health and beetle good fortune here. And beetles came up again today. Shoe fly and beetle juice arcing to the frying pan, keeping life in balance. The man and the fair woman, which this card usually is referring to fair complexion or hair. It could be gray hair as well, but also could be referring to a fair woman. The man and the fair woman with the harp, the happy harp and the vine wrapped around his trunk as the mule is stubborn, unwilling to change and the rooster arrogant and boastful and should not cross them. At the bull and rooster will cross 718 2023 when the north node changes from Taurus to Aries. So this is like a changing of the guards. This is the budding of the horns. And this the budding of wills and the cross to bear at the crossroads. So at 552, again the Hierophant and the Queen of Swords now with the 52, the underlying energy of the magician King of Cups and the wounded warrior blocking them from coming from coming with them to the Knight of Swords and the devil, both with hands and swords raised up or Capricorn and Gemini charging chariots of fire. So they're charging them or literally charge, charging them. And that could be uh, charging them as empowering them up as well. So this energy of the King of Cups, who's upright and the wounded warrior perhaps not wanting the Knight of Swords to come with them, but the Knight of Swords could be with the devil or that could be a Capricorn energy. And again, someone with a delivery or message as the Knight of Swords, right? The messenger of truth or the Knight in shining armor, whatever it is. And are they showing some of their shadow side? But both of their hand, their hand and sword are raised, right? The hand and the truth and the hand is the healing hand or Capricorn and Gemini charging chariots of fire or lovers, both dark and light here with the lover's card and the devil card, the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles, the sovereign of heart and the sovereign of practical side of life, free to explore and discover what's on the other side of the cliffhanger of the fool. The king of wands wants to see. The knight of pentacles offers the king of swords and the page of swords help or work with a message and or invite or opportunity in return. To the queen of cups and queen of pentacles, again, cups are water signs and the queen of pentacles are earth signs and then the knight of wands fire sign tagging along without telling at with the high priestess justice and the king of pentacles inspired or the knight of wands and page of wands guarding the high priestess and their justice or two people perhaps pisces and libra and that could be there could be virgo in there too and the king of pentacles or pisces or virgo and libra or brother and sister in court going separate ways as the page of wands is excited by the wand given, the twin flame offer coming full circle with the divine feminine to connect one to one in love after delivery went sour or food went bad. And that's a dinosaurs episode when food goes bad, which is hysterical about all the food in the fridge going bad and, and the baby getting in there. So when food goes bad, 
the Empress and Death, or Taurus and Scorpio, and the Six of Cups soulmates, and the Nightmare, the Sister, or Suffering in Silence, the Stress, not being able to sleep at night, the Queen of Swords presenting the Emperor with the Queen of Wands, giving away the Knight of Cups to the Page of Cups, and there's, this could be a young relationship too, or perhaps um, being it could be a proposal of marriage, or an introduction of two, you know, coming out for a young girl. Um, but that could be uh, twins coming together too and their inner children. Or the aunt without sleep after mother's death or takes her place for the Knight of Cups and Page of Cups. Taurus and Aries present, again the changing of the guards. Scorpio to Pisces as Aries takes over. This could be, a, again, proposal or perhaps child number two. We have fire, air there, Pisces, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aries, and water as well. well. You know, all water signs could be there. And so then on the 10th, um, so on the 10th, the energy was the 10 of the Wheel of Fortune, and the day added up to 22, which is the Fool. And, oh, by the way, there was just a, I looked over at the cards next to me, and this is the, what they looked like when I just did that read I, I told you about. And you see the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups, there's some six significant energies there. So however it resonates for you, I wanted to show you that. And then we have let's see the next one starts with the journey of love but again I just pulled a couple tea leaves prior to that and again that boastful rooster is coming up again and again a person not to cross but there's good luck with a younger man the hills and the mountain and the casket, they, that came out again today, or the mountain and the casket. The younger man with a challenge came and went with a bigger mountain to climb or a bigger hurdle to get over. With two cords, two cards, perhaps cords, the broken bridge with unsuccessful outcome to a problem and the teapot. And that's when I was reminded that I'd seen Aladdin's lamp on the street. And the name Ivan could be coming up for somebody or Ivy, or Etta. Um, a deep friendship with the same sex is coming up here. April showers brings May flowers with quill and bow back to basics. You are highly thought of, perhaps journaling and knots and untying them. And remember a bowl is easily untied. The goal-oriented person who's right on target with the valley, the cup, and the staff with deep strength and peace Accept valid criticism. You will be taken care of in difficult times. And again, the cane keeps coming up. The underlying energy of the younger man with a cane or a staff support and the bird perched waiting for news, a package or letter or discord amongst family or friends. But you are on the right path towards there's energy of teardrops or great personal sorrow to purge with the ink pot, and that could just be journaling as well and doing some shadow work, ink pot and skull and problems to be resolved after ink spilled with the broken bridge. And there could be hidden secrets. And it's just reminding you, hidden secrets can harm you regarding deep friendship of the same sex. So then again, this energy of a, of a masculine energy coming up as stubborn and greedy and not to back down to them, show your strength, and it's not about fighting, you know, you walk away when necessary, but also not backing down. Know your power. Change is coming to successfully bridge with happiness. Use your psychic ability and take a risk. Take care as enemies could be working against you regarding the crib, which can re reference your home or act an actual crib or any place that you hang out perhaps. But uh, there's this energy of fire and strong emotion. And remember, it can be positive and love and very strong. But again, hate could come up as well. With plenty of material things, be aware of pride and insincerity of another, perhaps a younger woman 
and the Great Wall of China. And again, the energy of the forest, not being able to see the forest through the woods and that muddled thinking was coming up there. And that was on the 10th. So then this read comes up on the 10th. And the top deck is the Journey of Love, Metatron, Shaman Dreams, Nature's Whispers, and then my half deck of Rider Weight. I'll bring it up a little bit closer so you can see better. Okay. And so this one was pulled from 858, perhaps 57 to 58, to 901. So we have the, we have the Four of Swords of the 5D Connection for me, um, the 59 of the Five of Swords, the Inner War, and then nine o'clock on the dot, the double zeros backing up the nine of the hermit, and then 01, which is then the magician and the hermit of the nine and one, which are the most powerful numbers, right? The end and the beginning. So the cards at the end of the decks came out to 43212 and 84317, with the uh, 4321 was coming up here, which adds up to 10, and that, that addition came up in another read that the four and the five, we were talking about ether being the fifth element, actually not the fifth element, but the collective of the four, three, two, one, which actually adds up to 10, which becomes one. So four and one were coming up as synonymous to dance for the, th the four, three, two, one, to dance for three stars. Joy to the world. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think, joy to the world. And 28, the twin flames come together to heal. I'm getting the herald again and be healed. Joy to the world. I don't know if you want to look up the, the words for joy to the world. But again, this joy to the world came up. And again, yesterday I woke up to sing, sing a song. Sing out loud, sing out strong. So that this very joyful energy is coming in as I wake up in the morning. Um, Matt, the name Matthew is also coming up as bookends right here. And my son's name is Matthew. It's because it means a gift from God. Uh, so we have these, the two gifts as bookends. And so, of course, I was guided to break down Matthew. But it was coming up as 2-1 and 2-8, right? 2-1 of the whole and the eight of the two eight of the twin flames to dance. From end to end, joy to joy, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. So Matthew also is the tax man, and that came up in the prior read. So Matthew, uh, with two T's, I'm assessing here. And Thew, I first I looked up Thew, T-H-E-W, and also T-T-H-E, which means stone. That's the only definition for T-T-H-E. And then H-E-W by itself which one of the definitions came up as the baboon and hue, color, shape, all that kind of energy was coming up there and conform. Few was coming up. One of the definitions was to instruct in morals or virtue, teach, train, chastise, or discipline and fish. It was coming up as the general practice of community, custom, behavior, mode of conduct and virtue, an attractive trait or physical, mental, moral, energetic, strength, or positive characteristic. So then it was 918, which is my birthday. So again, coming back to me, and there was a lot of connections between my son and me that came up in this, these energies that came up here. The father, mother, and there was a past life I had with my son where we jumped ship together. So that was very clear many, many years ago um, the, you know, that I have lived with my son before. Um, the energy of father, mother to one and to the eight of the dance, the father, mother, star of the double diamond star, right? The twins side by side that create that third star, that, that Bethlehem type star in the middle, the supernova event of two stars uh, birthing together and the boomerang, right? The boom of the big boom. And then the E rang, you rang, right? And the E is the, and the, this lowercase E is the egg cracked open and the uppercase E is one equal and congruent to the, the ring. So we have, and again, so it can be the noise or the actual circle of the ring. So Matthew is M-A, mother's there. And then the, T, the capital T is the top dog. So the father, the mother and father teach the discipline of virtue, a spiritual practice. 
mother's stone, and this is all Matthew, mother's stone and two ewes, mother's path of one in two ewes. The two of cups and cheers was coming up again in the show. And the mother with the pie, the two T's, is the twin towers, but also the pie symbol, which is the circle and the line down the middle of sharing equally. The mother with pie, right, the mother in the kitchen cooking pie, with shape and color and hue, which is very referenced to the feminine in alchemy, the circle and shape. Sharing equally with the empress and the temperance card, which came up, which is 3.14 pie. The mother and the angel. And... I looked up 314 in Gematria and it came up as the hand or head. Two was significant. Three was Lucas. And again, the mother and angel with the baboon or the, the uh, original human before they were homo sapien or before they were seeded. So it could be the homo sapien, but, not, but the Neanderthal version. And then 212 came up. I looked that up. The first entry was Monarch and then Atlas and Marta. But in Monarch, M-O-N was coming up as significance. Remember that. Um, and then 317 came up. So I looked that up, which the first entry was Robert and then Aphrodite. And then three was Keep the Faith. So then Ma, M-A, was coming up. But I wrote it in curved M and A. So it's like three mountain peaks, but only the A has a line across or a bridge. Because the M to the A, or the son to the mother, needs no bridge. They are connected hand in hand. You are able to share without a bridge, knowing always you're connected at the root. The word mat, M-A-T-T, is to be shaped, a statue, becoming the perfect man. Right? So the Manu comes up, which is the perfected man, but also Elena's version of the Altians coming in that are, were actually... The who, not the human. We're from Mon, but we're called the who. Okay? So I love that too. So now Tommy's coming up. So Matthew also could be M-A-T-T-H-U as the who. The M-A-T-T of who, or the humans. So to be shaped as the who. Half mother and half baboon. The who. Matthew, when I looked up in Gematria, the first number that came up associated was 1144, which is my soul number and life lesson number. So again, this connection between me and my son, but that's just being used as a template for you guys to understand this. The first entry was 61 million, which is the year of my birth. So again, another connection with my son. And then the second entry was Jalen Hurts, but I wasn't getting the name Jalen Hurts, but that Jalen is hurting, so it doesn't have to be the Jalen Hurts. Any Jalen, there may be a Jalen who could use your help. Um, the three of mourning on Mercury. And again, waking up with wings on your head. And then the energy of the four of the lotto jackpot. Five was I need to talk to you. And nine was the one I love is called, and that was under Matthew. Gift from God. So then the 10th entry was 29, the number 29 which is the three of wands of being present in the moment, perhaps waiting for your ships to come in or just being very present. The two of the high priestess, the nine of the hermit, both very quiet energies into themselves. So Matt, M-A-T-T, is also an alloy and copper smithing and copper keeps coming up. Um, it's also a mat as a rug or dull finish. Checkmate, exhausted, feeble, tired and weak, creep and frosted. And I keep getting from how to... How to Lose a Man in 10 Days, where the advertising campaign was frosted, frosting the, you know, use diamonds to frost. So literally Matthew comes up as checkmate who. So who come, you know, this is, you checkmate when you get the king. So the who is coming up as the king being checkmated or checking their mate. The frosted who, H-U, Versus the shiny or humble who. The who with their light dampened. Or that humbling energy here. The energy not of dimming your light, but um, not shining the ego either, right? Allowing the natural light to shine and that natural energy of, of matte finish as opposed to the shiny, bright toy type of energy. 
So 43 slash 7 comes up here, which is also my son's soul number. So it's very much about the Matthew energy, but he's also Scorpio, which may come up. The 43 slash 7 of the Emperor and the Empress, the square and the triangle, and the 7 of the chariot. But it's also the energy of the original way Gamma was written and the boomerang. So the boomerang of the square and the triangle and the energy of the emperor and the empress or the energy of control and abundance. The man and woman meant to be together as seven. The powerful chariot or boomerang and then orangutan came up. That comes up in uh, the Metatron deck, I think it is, from orange to gold, right? From ego to gold, the Christ consciousness. So the boomerang here of the powerful chariot and our orangutan was coming up as orange you tan. So it's coming up as the tan who. And boom, E rang, but it's coming up E is also the Merlin at the top of the tower. Boom, Merlin rang. And Merlin equals the myrrh of the sea and the lin of the waterfall. The gentle, calm, smooth, and even quiet strength I'm getting uh, and sweetness simply with balanced emotion little degree of separation between the peaks and valleys between the jumps and dips jumping jack jack and jill jack and the beanstalk be nimble and quick to avoid the fire in the candlestick at 9:48, the hermit and the walking away and within as jill goes through the fire transmuting but the fire catches up to jack the underlying energy of 39, to let them lead the way, the 23 of duality, the king of wands, and the seven of the covenant, the sacred one, the 40 of the page of cups and showing support, and then the page of wands, the 26. Okay, so we have the page of cups and the page of wands right next to each other after the energy of the knight of cups and the king of cups, which can be the feminine and masculine, and then their inner children as the page and wands, page of wands and cups. And again, the sacred covenant between them, the chariot, the vehicle of ascension. She, quote unquote, with a handle on the snake, like the wind, the knight of cups, and he, quote unquote, the king of wands off balance in his passions and needing to pull back. She wrangling and he feeling wrangled, the chariot vehicle of sacred covenant between the two in boomerang gamma waves, the twin flame two-eyed needle, a push and pull, give and take. The top dog and the die gamma, right, the twin ray. And time out to make love and make waves, gamma waves. The page of cups, show your support to the page of wands pup. At 9.53 of the hermit and the knight of swords, messenger of truth or knight in shining armor. And the underlying energy of the 18 of distant shores which can, references the fourth moon, which then comes up as the moon at the end of August. So both came up this week, the first, the first one in August, and then the second full moon in August at the end of the month. I forget if it's the 30th or 30, 31st. That's the super moon. The 32 of the journey, the devotion to the small, and the eight of the yin-yang lover, bending over backward to reach the point, the origin of the wound, that she is flexible, like the, the extension root around the trunk of the tree. And, the, um, and that's in the um, Shaman Dreams deck as the woodwives, that the feminine is more flexible. She is flexible, so let the feminine lead the way with romantic news and the dance of the Knight of Cups is love. Um, and then July, Cancer and Leo both coming up right there. At 9.57, the Hermit and the Three of Swords and the Six of the Lovers and Gemini and the Angel of Jupiter or Sagittarius, the other side of Gemini's awakening. The Knight of Cups lovers align with Zeus. Hey, Zeus. Jeez, it's us. Michael and Metatron. My dance left, which is the right angle of the Lambda throne, the throne is the high road of one, and the Elohim, the ELO her, that she is the heir to his hymn. She aligns the lovers by Jupiter's and Mother's grace, 
with Gemini twin influence as we head into Gemini soon and Sagittarius axis. And my, both my parents were Geminis a week apart, seven years and seven days, okay? Um, the 10 and my father's birthday came up today and something I was looking up as well. The 10 of the wheel and high vibe wheel, three, two, one, and the two is written out T-O. And then 610, I didn't realize this, is my mother's birthday, as three become one. Oh, my father's birthday came up with uh, Ringo. Ringo came up today, and uh, he just posted his concert tour. And I noticed the place that uh, he's playing on my father's birthday, June 3rd, is Bend, Oregon, where they used to live. So that was pretty cool. So, and I also have a, a hand-drawn picture of Ringo that I won in junior high school at a dance. I actually won Paul McCartney, but I traded it for Ringo in junior high school. So that was an interesting message. So the 10 of high vibe wheel, three to one, and then June 10th as three become one and the 46 of just for a moment joy, the six of cups, the childlike love, childlike and fully receiving the light with arms up in the air and jumping for joy and then again june's coming up and june means young so that very young energy so then the uh, last cards in this row was the 57 of the three of swords the lovers looking up and keeping it simple in their healing the 16 of sudden rush of the heart of the moment and the 56 of the dance of the planets clear and again, that Dance of the Planets card is the one where I always see Linda and Paul McCartney walking with her big uh, vest that she used to wear. Clear and healing as heart opens, the Two of Swords knowing, hand in hand, in, and again, that hand fasting energy in Cyclone and the Vortex, both at the same time together. The 19 of Shakti energy, powered up by Source energy, the Feminine Fire, and spontaneous healing, knowing, on fire for life, at 1010, big wheels keep on burning. So Tina Turner's coming up with Ike there. Ike pops in now and then. And then the 30 of the union of towering magnificence, and the 40 of the void, the page of cups, the 12 of self-initiation, which is also the hanging man, from union with mighty sentinels, sent, and that keeps coming up as well, which is 100. Right, it can be the penny and the 100 or meeting in the monkey in the middle, which would then be 50. The sentinels, the sent in L's, the zero, zero, and this is the way I wrote that. So sent had already come up as the zeros, right? Sent in, so I wrote, uh, uh, and then in L's, so more than one L's, two L's. And the reason I wrote the arrows up and down, because it was coming up as, the um, the elevator. And so, and the doubles of everything, right? So double arrows, double zeros, and double L's. But both zero, zero equals 100, and LL also equaled 100. So it's a perfect balance there. It was pretty cool the way that came up. The elevator between, to the void, creation of who, ID, in child within the hanging man's wisdom of self-initiation, the elevator in the middle, the monk with the key, the home with the page of cups hanging out, as me and Teddy were at that time, Gemini, Libra, Scorpio, Leo, and Pisces here, with the 70 of heaven on earth projected through the eyes of the twins. Not all can yet see them. It's like a vision in the clouds and hazy, not quite clear yet but working on it, juggling, performing, and distracting from 3D worries, right? The ones who can't yet see them or see their 5D energy. So at 1018, which is the wheel and the moon, number nine came up with the hermit and the action that movement was needed and water with the seven, 19 of fire and the 17 of conquering your fears at 1019, which is the wheel and the sun as we have the moon uh, at 1018, the moon to the sun, and then the hermit of action to water and fire, which have been coming up their relationship. Water and fire is big this week. 
So at 1019, conquering fears of the star and being seen, right? Because the star is the most easily seen thing of everything, right? And then the 23 of the King of Wands in duality, getting knocked off balance. At 1019, the hermit running with the shadow, the water vehicle for emotional well-being of the who man and dolphin. So there's the, the who man and do elven, right? That elf energy. And then do deca was coming up as well to do the deca, which is 10. Do elven or 10 or 2-10 the divine feminine and the divine masculine and source energies as two, one, and zero. A jog, a leap on land and sea with fire dragon ley lines and pyramid, which is the fire in the belly and the breath. As the dragon watches the dolphin, fire and water, as the 17 star conquers fears with angelic assistance to balance the king of wands as duality. And I was getting a text right then from the Taurus at 1024, which is the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Wands, which is also a fiery energy. With Virgo, Cancer, Leo, and Aquarius there as well. At 1027, the Wheel and the Ace of Wands, or the Big Flame. So the first energy here of the 53 is the codependent Knight of Swords, key to freedom and unlocking the root. The 25 of the Knight of Wands, passion, love for life, with the King of Swords, Purity and Innocence, and the King of Wands, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, and King of Swords, all fire and air, the fire feeding the past, and Libra, destiny, as the Knight of Cups feeds back love. Or the Leo, King of Wands, Gemini, Knight of Swords, Sagi, Knight of Wands, and Libra, King of Swords, perhaps with Pisces or Water Child or Pet. As the King of Wands is doing their balancing act, the Knight of Swords is weaving and unlocking, the Knight of Wands lighting a fire, and the King of Swords clearing and purifying. On the end of this row is the 45 of the Purging card, the Five of Cups, of endings in the sunset each day with compassion, and the 10 of the High Vibe New Dawn each morn to get things going in phased array. To the silver of the 30 of union, the warrior of light, of pink and rose gold or copper. Again, the third place of gold and silver. The gold and silver sword and the stone and the moon. Two suns to one moon. Sunset, sunrise, and the full moon in the night sky over Lady of the Lake. I was just getting Ricky Lake for whatever reason. Purging, raising the ante for Union Home, finding the needle in the haystack, one at a time. As Dr. Frankenfurter of Transylvania goes home, I'm going home. Or Dr. Hot Dog and Sausage of Dr. Frankly, who steals or pouts from Pennsylvania. And then the Pennsylvania is coming up as the Sylvania of the light bulb. The Transylvania and the Pennsylvania, and of course in the movie, he's the trans from Transylvania, and here's the pen, or the writing from Pennsylvania. The trans light to pen's light, and that's the, I couldn't think of Ben Franklin's name the other day, <laughs> and that's who was coming up here, and Ben's light, frankly. Frank, even, smooth, sweet, calm, and quiet. And our waterfalls or waterworks coming up here. And why are the waterworks coming up with Ben Franklin? There's something very familiar I'm getting, but I can't remember what it was. Waterworks. It's, I'm getting like Monopoly, the board game. And I'm getting the water wheel. There's something very significant about, about the water wheel. That was coming up as something else, like a wagon wheel and a water wheel at the same time, like pumping the water to clean it. And again, Ben Franklin, maybe he already came up with the solution, but nobody paid attention or they weren't able to do it at that time. Frank, even, smooth, sweet, calm, and quiet, and our waterfalls or waterworks, which can be also falling over the edge of the cliff, allowing the fall, and again, allowing the purge or the waterworks cry, and Ben's light. Ben, the two of us need look no more. So here you're coming up with that loyal friend. 
Um, again, your guide, to call on your guides, that they're your friend. Whenever you need them, call on them and they'll be there. And Spirit's connecting with me. Thank you. The one of the yellow bee, joy and happiness of the carpenter and better cup, nut butter and carpe diem, the magician's embodiment and Merlin E, true holly or holy wood story or tale, the root of the tower or one who toes, toe is T-O-W or to to use or my toes, which is the first guidance I ever connected with was my toes, but I got it from my toes. And my toes is the mythical Merlin magically becoming two in division. So again, mitosis, um, the splitting of the cell. Me to S-I-S is mitosis. Me to S-I-S. And again, when cells split, it's considered a sister cell or a daughter cell. I forget what that is. But me to sis, the sister act, and the honeybee, and yin yang, the tree and the heart, the diamond wing, the sun and the moon, the honeybee and the buttercup flower. And that's all I need in the jerk. And perhaps this light as well. There's a reference to love and light. I wasn't even getting that before. So at 1055, the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Swords, the truth, Excalibur, and the X is Caliber, the underlying energy of the 41 of the Ace of Cups, and the Moon Maiden, the Holy Grail of New Beginnings, and the beginning, which is Beg, In, Nigh, the reflection of In and Nigh, the show of power, of the NGS, which is nanograms, but also eyes, as in the letter capital I. Be God in power of I am, as the Ace of Cups love as she holds the moon, the 25 of the Knight of Wands in the Garden of Venus for rest and renewal, and the 35 wounded warrior with the lost compass getting back to their integrity at the 11th hour, 11 to 11, in the galactic mushroom of the divine matrix or mother's tricks, and, and Bellatrix always comes up with that, and it's saying divine matrix, but I'm seeing June matrix. Or three blind mice see how they run when love is offered from Cancer Pisces Scorpio to Leo Saggy Aries, or in other words, the water signs to the fire signs. So again, I said it's a big theme this week between the water and the fire. So the 17, the star card as the eye of the needle, the map of stars or intent, Right, being seen with that eye squinting, dreams and the twin flames push and pull of the star of Bethlehem, that double diamond with source blessings in the peripheries, right, of the squinty eye of intent, squeezing the circle of trust in the two eyes of the apple at its core and the leap of the seed inside out. So again, there's that energy of folding inside yourself inside out and there's that energy of of the twin flame energy and the longitudinal um, interruption which uh, Dan Winter always talks about so again in the periphery of intent squeezing in the circle of trust in two eyes of the apple at its core and leap of the seed inside out at 11 11 is the seven of the covenant the sacred contract of the seven trumpets and the seventh seal broken tells the story of a man named Brady, the brother, the friend, the chin and the beard, and the lovely lady, three times that is, as uh, Lionel Richie was at the coronation. And the, the song, Three Times a Lady, came up before I saw that about the coronation. So it was coming up very significantly. And again, the three women, um, The, um, the the mother, the I always forget it, and the crone, but was coming up in a different way as well. The 29 of the three of wands, so again, there's that three times again of the three of wands, who are fiery ladies. The horned cactus, present with gifts and resourcefulness, who's also very independent from the split tree, right? The horned cactus in the middle of the desert. They don't need anyone. They have everything they need. The 10 and the 61 of Destined Deep Diver or Libra Energies, and the 61, again, is that uh, risk card, but it's also the year I was born, reflecting 
um, my agelessness <laughs> this year, diving deep to 61 and the whale's song resonating in a bubble or the portal at the bottom of the sea, a risky place to be. And then again, JP, who's usually on Michael Sala's channel, who reports on the arcs down below that they've been on and gone through the different portals from arc to arc. Um, this was very much that energy of the portal that he described of the, you know, it's kind of like an oily water portal that the whale is in and the bubble that he saw in the arc um, in the Bermuda Triangle where they had to pull all the soldiers out of the bubble to get them through the portal. But that was coming up again here too. So the 61 of the whale song resonating in a bubble or a portal at the bottom of the sea, a risky place to be, and a contracted gift with the cactus who's ready to dive in to meet the whale in the portal where they are. And I was just getting to, which I didn't get at the time I wrote this, um, the, the desert place where the cactus would be would be in the Ukraine in the desert area why they never knew why it was desert when it's surrounded by green and it's because of the arc that had keeps you know heating up the energy the the ground there so dried it all out so there's another arc there so they're apparently uh, connecting from arc to arc here to meet the whale in the portal where they are which references um, the Bermuda Triangle so three and 27 is the Empress and the Ace of Wands and the Benefactor and the Heart Home with the Empress with a new passion or flame and the Benefactors of Grace and Generosity cuddling up in the Mushroom, the King and Consort, and that's, there's a, obviously a plug to um, Charles and Camilla, but this is referencing the twins as well, in the Home of Compassion and the Right Use of Power in Strength of Removing the Crown in crown games or the queen of cups 38 with flame inside in her home where the heart is the home cancer and libra taurus and leo here at uh, 1207 and i think i think charles rising is leo he had two of the same planets as the queen and then, of course, he's Scorpio, and then Camilla's Cancer, so she may have Libra in her chart as well, because that could reference them. But at 12.07 is the Hanging Man and the Chariot, the underlying energy of the three of celebrating differences, and I was just getting celebrity, um, the three of abundance and the Empress, but celebrating differences of the unicorn and the dolphin of land and sea coming together at the shoreline as the 43 of three of cups and that love matters. And 43, again, my, Matthew is coming up again and matters and Matthew and um, as the ship left and the bird lands opening to new planes within coming together and my son that is actually coming home next month to visit but the 37 of the king of cups and the empress the empress the king of cups and the queen of cups with acceptance of love here and the Five of the Hierophant, change, freedom, and expansion to clear out the old, but the Hierophant also includes um, all of the societal norms of religion and guidance and commitments. Um, it came up in alchemy um, yesterday too, which I'll get to when I get to today's read. Um, that was very significant. It took me back to the um, this book here of the Most Holy um, Trino Sophia. Okay, and again, St. Germain coming up there too. So, oh, by the way, I did call in Sophia Christ and St. Germain today specifically. Um, but again, to clear out the old here, the 40 of the Page of Cups to show your support, right, that innocence of the Page of Cups, of the Hierophant and changes with Taurus and Scorpio, again, the North Nodes, affecting the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Page of Cups, or all the water signs or showing each other support, commitment, and guidance here. After her harvest of going within to the 44, 48, and the 8, in the breakthrough of the 8 to dance with the 3 and celebrate, where the 83 is the reflection of 38, which is the Queen of Cups, and 83 is also uh, a Messier a cloud in Hydra, which I was guided to, 
as origins. And here that 83 also is my name added up to my daughter's name added up 38. And 38 is my soul number. So there's a lot of energy about the Divine Feminine here reflecting the 83 to the 38. And that 83 Messier is... Uh, the two, it looks like two horseshoes holding each other's hands, you know. So it's a really cool energy in Hydra with the Queen of Cups. So this energy of coming together of land and sea, the unicorn and the dolphin, with the 37 of the King of Cups and unconditional love between, plus the Hierophant or Taurus with the little one or ones, at 1250, the hanging man and the family, the Ten of Cups, the ultimate emotional fulfillment. Um, it's interesting. I heard someone just use the Ten of Cups as bliss, and I don't usually call that bliss. I usually call the Ten of Swords the bliss, because the ultimate bliss for me is when the pain leaves you, and then you go into that ultimate bliss. But Ten of Cups also could be is a different kind of bliss for me. I feel like it's more of a human bliss. Whereas the Ten of Swords reversed is in the ending of the sword cycle that you don't need is the ultimate bliss, right? Because then you can stay in that energy. But you can obviously use them. They're just a slightly different perspectives of the same kind of energy. So the 41 is the Ace of Cups to be in service to the little ones. Flower birds, fairies, and seahorses and the man in the canoe by land and by sea, the Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups here. The Innocent One and the Holy Grail. The 19 and the 12 of the Sun and the Hanging Man and Wisdom. The Shifting of Your Energy. And then it, that can be reference to love and light as well. To shift your energy to expand. Sunshine hovering and ships covering. Bring, bridging two mountains together in hand fasting. Again, the two horseshoes coming together. And horseshoes have been coming up constantly too this week. In the hand fasting, and I just told you about Hydra and Messier 83. So check it out. It's a beautiful star system there. As the buck or deer one with little girl bring his hand to hers. As the double rainbows bridge, hot air balloons and ships four by four coming and going. The 23 of the King of Wands, that you are worth it. Your vision of her by candlelight on the horizon flowering as your ship comes in or crown jewels headed your way for your lioness. At 1256, the hanging man and the two of swords, the underlying energy of the knight of swords and the knight of pentacles, who divide and conquer, the knight of swords charges the past. The knight of swords charges the past as the knight of pentacles connects with, with temptation or Capricorn waving next to Gemini, or dark and light lovers, as the lover's card and the devil's card, they're both the same, light and dark, mediating with silent partners, confidentiality of records or sister with the queen of wands, empress or mother, and the king of swords with the queen of swords to speak for them along with the knight of cups. The, knight, the dark knight or Scorpio energy to justice or Libra, or counsel filing with the court. On the other side is the King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and Knight of Wands, freeing the Emperor with the Page of Cups. So on the one side is the group with the Empress, and then there's this other side with the group with the Emperor. And the Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, on guard with them, unable to sleep or stressed out, with the Page of Swords and Nine of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles with the Page of Wands independent kids or messages to each other at 104 the divine masculine and the emperor or the magician embodiment of the lambda leap and the page of wands inspired by the two of wands choice that was given or the twin flames the cycle complete coming full circle or the divine feminine or pisces the neighbor or world extends an invite or opportunity or kids or neighbors studying together or perhaps traveling together at 107 is the Divine Masculine or Magician again, and the Seven of the Chariot, or that energy of the Boomerang, the Gamma Waves, and the Six of Cups Chariot with the Queen of Cups, with the Hermit or Advisor, or Pisces, Cancer, and Virgo, Watery Queen of Cups, and Child or Pets, with the King of Wands Magician, or Gemini, Virgo, watching the, King, the uh, Page of Pentacles here, and the King of Pentacles, 
but he comes up as the cheese stands alone. Or the King of Wands is waiting to see if the Page of Wands and Page of Pentacles are coming with he and the King of Pentacles. Or the Page of Wands and Page of Pentacles are the King of Wands and King of Pentacles in their childhood, perhaps brothers or best friends, looking back at their childhood or coming full circle or in a Chiron return. At 116 is the Magician or Divine Masson on the 16th of the Tower. And here's the clarification from the mini deck with the King of Wands reversed, dumping a load, confessing to the King of Cups about withholding from the Page of Pentacles or playing hardball with them, standing up for themselves, taking the high ground on injustice of juggling or having to dance for the Page of Pentacles, or this could be a child having their parent wrapped around their finger as well, or supporting a student, perhaps with college, as the Queen of Swords is holding back an announcement or call until they receive some love from the Two of Wands reversed without a choice or person without a choice, but to complete the cycle with the King of Pentacles reversed and the Knight of Cups reversed, it's all about the money or being seen as insincere in a partnership with the Queen of Pentacles upright defensive about a secret passion or defensive wounded warrior who needs to use their intuition, defending their dark night and reaping rewards or assessing worth to get passion project or growth from the page of wands reversed with the ten of cups upright family releasing the knight of pentacles upright to help the emperor with crazy kids or pets or out of control egos or leo reversed drained or burned or sick by the queen of cups reversed or the emperor has help but the queen of cups does not with different kids and or pets and no rest and or peace. And this can also be the same kids, but they act differently for each parent. The Nine of Pentacles reversed dependent and spends too much, and the Nine of Cups happy with themselves, but perhaps there's a bit of arrogance there. With dreams coming true, and then out of the blue, the inequity of not sharing or spontaneous remission of healing and thrown off balance with little left. And this could be someone who may have thought they were gonna die uh, so they spent all their money and then went into remission. With good news for the King of Swords upright to travel with the Page of Cups, to sad magician reverse manipulating and keeping information to themselves as the Two of Swords, and not telling or in a heated exchange, being emotionally uncomfortable here with the Five of Pentacles reversed, who may be recovering or coming back in out of the cold, with the Hermit reversed and the Ten of Pentacles reversed, or a parent with Alzheimer's or dementia and two going crazy with them, or perhaps a loss of family funds or dysfunction in family with deceit and awakening of egos at play, and the sister or suffering in silence in a split or divided at home, losing patience, looking back at the rest or taking a break in the 5D connection with lover or fallen angel or Sagittarius reversed, and Gemini upright, again the same axis, seeing synchronicities or all their options in a marriage or commitment with the Knight of Wands third party coming in, perhaps after drinking and not happy to be disturbed while they're with their friends for overtime and or not working out, needing courage to come clean here. And again, that could be two people still living together and divorcing. Perhaps one's bringing their friends over all the time and partying and, you know, being arrogant about it, like don't disturb us. And the other one who needs quiet to do work, you know, it's kind of like that energy. With the Queen of Wands upright refusing to talk after many lies in a losing battle with the Knight of Swords reversed and attacks destined to come together at work or Libra upright at work with the Six of Cups reversed and the King of Wands reversed and the Empress reversed or dysfunctional family here, or perhaps they're dealing with a loss but freed in separation from PTSD or a sore loser in detoxing after the war and now bored or can't see the good in what they have at 144. And I'm being called right now to remind you of my 144 um, symbolically, which is the numbers one through nine, where 144 is one, the two to five pod, and then the six to nine pod, which I talk about all the time, the six, nine, eight pod with the seven being the key. So again, your lower vibration, your lower body pod of the two to five, and then the upper body, six to nine pod of the 144. So the page of wands reversed, out of options, or unable to proceed with choice of path, 
is coming full circle with the Page of Pentacles or just getting started with a new endeavor. The Six of Cups reversed with a negative past, childhood or kids are being difficult now, coming in strong with the Queen of Cups reversed, going crazy or with dementia or coming out of isolation. With Pisces and Cancer both upright, Virgo reversed, or just perhaps that means they just have Virgo in their chart, but it's not their sun sign or perhaps their rising sign. And the King of Wands reversed, manipulative or insincere without tools or very untrustworthy doctor or advisor here with the King of Pentacles reversed. Um, we have this energy of the Six of Cups reversed with the Queen of Cups reversed and the King of Wands reversed and the King of Pentacles reversed. And I was getting the Two of Cups reversed as the two youngest in the family or just a group of people who are all traveling together. So then we have... Let's see here. So there's definitely this energy of somebody needing a, a kick in the butt. And this can either be the ram trying to kick someone else in the butt to get give them a jump start or trigger them to get going. This also could be the ram getting the boot. Those kind of energies were coming up here with a kick start. And again, their compliments from an admirer could be coming in, creating a fire of strong emotion. And then the axe came up there as well. And yeah, check out, if you want to learn how to channel, check out Tara. Um, shoot, what is her last name? She channels St. Germain. And she's it's a very good channel for teaching a lot of different things. And she's a nurse as well. So there's that grounded energy. Um, Not boil. Hold on. Let us see. I brought her up before, but she's very good. Where are you? Arnold. I, I didn't find her, but I just remembered her name. It's Tara... T-A-R-A -A Arnold on YouTube. And St. Germain came in too. So actually, when I first started going through this, trying to figure out what was going on with me, the first channeled reading I got was from St. Germain and uh, from a guy in, the, in uh, the UK. I can't remember who that was. It was so many years ago. But um, that was very significant for me. So he's like coming back around again. And, oh, that energy of St. Germain came up in my ex as well. It was weird. And I looked in this book that I showed you. There's a picture of St. Germain in the front. And I always look at faces because I can tell by the faces if, like, you're in the same soul group. And this is, like, was definitely has the same um, face lines as my, my ex did. But he had some very negative energy. But yeah, I just wanted to show you his energy there. So, uh, all right. So now we're going into, so this is the read on the table that I did. So it's not my seven deck read. It's a two deck read with just the, um, the Syrian Starseed deck and then the mini deck for clarifiers. So this is that read for the Twin Flames. And actually, I pulled some extra cards past the read, but I couldn't put them on the table. So this is the picture of those cards as well. Just telling a story at the end, kind of like at the dragon's tail. So I pulled them at 7.02. Oh, and I woke up at 7.20 this morning and got up at 8.08. So again, Lion's Gate's coming up as strong and then the beginning of July coming in strong as the changes, you know, so the North Node is going to start coming in in energy wise in July as well as the Lions Gate always comes in prior to that, prior to the eight eight gate. But seven oh two comes up, that's the chariot and the high priestess. And then I finish clarifying at seven fifteen, which is the chariot and the devil or the shadow energy. The major arcana was reason, which is the emperor in this deck, the tower, and before the reed was the shadow or the devil. 
Um, there was two star and karma, and they're both Aquarius energies for me, so I did want to bring them up as well because they were right below the shadow. And then after the read was the Hanging Man, Justice, and Indigo, which is the uh, magician energy. There were three wands, three swords, two cups, and one pentacle. So we have 33 and 21 there, which is that Christ energy and the world, the coming full circle, whole and complete. And then the uh, Knight of Wands and Knight of Swords both came up in the read. They're the main players. And then before the read, the Page of Swords came up. There were triple fours, which for me is the angelic realms, and then 88, which is the twin flames dancing, right, waiting for that third eight, eight to knock them over into the infinity of their perpetual connection. Six, seven, eight, nine also came up here just in time. We have the 48 of the Eight of Cups walking away within. And again, reference the four is the heart and the eight is the high heart. Um, the, the code line uh, was all about the number one, which doesn't come up very often. Just one. Oh, that came up too. I forgot about that. In the movie Closer, when she identifies herself in the movie, I won't tell you much about it in case you want to see it. But she, she's asked what her name is, and she says Jane. And, of course, you know, if you're, like, in a strip club or something, someone will always say their name is Jane Smith or something like that. But she says Jane, just Jane, and he doesn't believe her. And he says, again, what is your, that's not your real name. What's your name? And she says Jane, just Jane. So it's her telling the truth, but she always lies, so no one knows that she's telling the truth. And it's kind of like her, her, uh, power, her superpower for her in her perspective. But Just Jane was coming up, and then in the um, Charlotte series on Netflix, Just George came up as the King George, just call me George, Just George. And then I was getting Just B, as in that Christ energy of Just B and the Beatles coming up and Let It Be, and then it was coming up as Just One. So Just Jane, Just Jane, George, Just George, B, Just B, and B, Just One. Um, so remember that energy was very much coming up as very cool energy um so the one uh where just one came up just one and the message of the code line here came up as uh, freedom of speech to be the wall the waterfall but also the energy of feeling shitty or worthless the rest the halt the stop husked rice and force came up and the source fool who's good at reasoning or as the emperor in control acing even their emotions the waterfall of tifo right that can be considered a waterfall too as the all the letters go up in a tifo the waterfall tifo that is you the mouse with leftover or getting the mouse's leftovers with esp reasoning and acing even the evening of emotions again so this is that level playing field to be or exist as the Fuad, uh, which is a name in Arabic, but also French, as crazy on a narrow passage, a stone-breaking plant, perhaps of Arabic origin in France, drunk full, now multicolored and good at or the night of reason or reasoning, a force of nature, crazy night one, even in emotion, the freedom of speech, even if your source is crazy drunk, a plant, or aiding and abetting a plant. Reason number one, even in emotion. Worthless, good luck plant. Perhaps a good luck plant that didn't work for you. Worthless, good luck plant, a stone breaking plant, the knight and the emperor who are acening the evening of the cups, the leveling of emotions. So we have the eight of wands upright. With the Four of Cups and Page of Swords, Four of Cups is upright, Page of Swords and Shadow beneath. So those are the cards. I only pulled three in the underlying energies here. The Grounding, Integrating, and Mastering, or G-I-M, the gym of bad news, message or perhaps a mouthy child, detoxing and energetic exchange, or just too much back and forth, or going around in circles, in deception and awakening to stress, or feeling affected by not enough sleep. With the Ace of Cups reversed, triggered or overwhelmed, without a choice and stuck, unable to move forward, or your brain just hurts, with the world upside down or needing closure to a commitment to drop the ball, the facade, the pattern, or left behind or destitute in some way, having a meeting and tap dancing on the ceiling, 
or kicked out of the all boys club with lovers out in the cold and detoxing. So again, and again, I was getting this energy of people being at home, but in a very um, unpeaceful home because there's either uh, one partner trying to get back at the other partner or kids making a lot of noise or doing stuff with their friends and making it difficult for the parent. This energy of having a meeting and tap dancing on the ceiling, right? So trying to have a meeting downstairs while the kids are making all this noise upstairs or perhaps some other reason for that. Or the energy of being kicked out of the all boys club. But again, Spanky and the gang was coming up at 8.04. So no longer can be the all boys club at 8.04. Again, the high heart taking over the lower heart at 8.06 of the dance of the lovers and space between in the recent past is the Knight of Wands reversed with the Page of Swords reversed. And when I talk about cards being reversed and the signs being reversed, it, it can mean they're in their negative aspect, but also with signs, it can mean it's just in their chart, but it's not their lead sign. It's not their sun or rising sign. So the Knight of Wands and Page of Wands are both reversed here. Dark night or in an ending are not feeling well in a flurry of activity. Offering time, money, and energy to the Six of Cups reversed, perhaps children or someone you had a falling out with, or a negative past from your childhood. That could The past could be returning there too. Healing with the King of Cups, who's upright here. Um, with Aquarius, both Aquarius cards were upright. Both Capricorn cards were reversed. Both Cancer cards were reversed. And Scorpio upright. Perhaps Saggy and Pisces reversed were here too. With the King of Cups, who's probably a Scorpio here, perhaps dealing with kids and or siblings. The foundation is the Six of Cups reversed. Again, the energy of, of a negative past or difficult kids or childhood, lacking faith, counting on the Queen of Swords to be an angel and walk away. And again, that could be someone wanting to break up but waiting for the other person to do it. So like kind of being awful so that they'll be the ones to choose to leave. The central energy of the Knight of the Nine of Swords hiding underground, a secret passion or lack of integrity, or telling the wounded warrior's secrets, dependent financially, and doesn't like to be alone. In the energetic exchange with unstable King of Swords, who's upright, one person or several kids who are up to something and are hiding from the King of Swords and or Emperor, it could be the same person. The challenge being the Emperor, the reasoning, an announcement or break, or call to lay things to rest, or wake-up call to sleeping with their lover and leaving them sad or grieving, or the challenge being Aries, Aquarius, Aries, Aquarius, or Gemini, or a booty call. And now is the Ace of Pentacles crowning and with the stone-breaking plant, the Knight of Wands reversed and the Six of Cups reversed. Player or abusive to kids, sister or suffering in silence, stressed out or not being able to sleep, challenged by the emperor upright or control, offering a new life after detoxing and bored, without peace, and suddenly the king of pentacles upright and the knight of cups upright, offering love to lying, cheating, stealing, king of wands reversed and empress reversed, who may be healing but weak in disconnect or distance from the queen of cups who's upright here. And the king of wands and empress could be someone who's sick as well, or not doing well. The Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups are both upright here, with the King of Wands and the Empress both reversed between them. And that could be uh, third-party interference between the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. And that can definitely reference twins or children energy. The Five of the Knight of Swords, or excuse me, what's coming up soon is the Knight of Swords, sending 5D message, Justice of hard work and the Queen of Pentacles reversed, who may be defenseless to the Page of Pentacles reversed. And they could be mother and child or siblings or just two earth signs, perhaps one younger than each other or one more immature than the other or not as, uh, they're both ungrounded if they're reversed. But the Queen of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles both reversed could also be defenseless together to the Ten of Pentacles family who's upright with the Ten of Cups family who's upright, which is very powerful because they're both in their upright energy, right? That's the, the most positive, positive energy you can have in the deck, right? Because it's the culmination of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles, and then the Ten of Cups, which is emotional fulfillment. Giving their information to the magician reversed, who's a manipulative 
insecure person without tools. So the Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Page of Pentacles reverse could be part of this Ten of Pentacles family, but defenseless to the fact that both of these families, it's like the Montagues and the Capulets, are giving their information. I don't know if they're giving the family's information or they're giving the Queen of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles information to this Magician reverse or Gemini reverse or somebody with Gemini in their chart. And again, that could be like common family energies where they're, where someone's required to bring their stuff up in court, but then it brings the whole family stuff up, which is a confidentiality issue. So that could be coming up. So somebody working hard with three tens here, the 10 of wands upright, 10 of pentacles upright, and the 10 of cups all in the same area right here, 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 and here. Uh, working hard or Libra with the weight of the world, Atlas, or having to support the queen of pentacles reversed and the page of pentacles reversed dependents, perhaps of a wealthy family, the 10 of pentacles and the 10 of cups telling the magician reversed how it is. The twin flames are seeing themselves as the tower of bliss and being still or retiring as the knight of pentacles meets the six of wands reverse player. Perhaps they're an attention whore or a partier or someone who gossips or likes to spread rumors uh, or just hangs out with bad influences. Or again, so, so it could be someone drinking all the time with their friends or overworking or just not working at all abused by the emperor and the queen of wands or pushed to their energetic limit uh, multiple stories here of love and abuse and issues with worthiness uh, helping those needy for attention who may be antisocial or overworked being offered another passion from the emperor and the queen of wands upright out of the blue but is that something that's helpful, right? No, when they already have 10 wands, they can't handle. But the emperor and the queen of wands are coming up upright. Like they don't see anything wrong with what they're doing. I don't feel like they are. Um, it's like up to the person feeling like the victim to take themselves. Again, remember, it's always the victim in the middle who has to make the shift between the perpetrator and the savior. It's only the victim in the middle who can make the shift and the difference to take that polarity away. So they have to stop being the victim by not allowing the others to do what they're doing to them. So the, uh, the energy around the twins here or how they may be seen is the four of wands reversed with two red roses, one white rose and one flame. The five of swords upright and the knight of swords upright like in a lot of, of air energy there like kind of on attack and defensive at the same time it's that push and pull on guard unstable move or visit or the party's just over you took it one step too far as the twin flames are suddenly uh, a sudden assessment of their value or worth now that the worst is over or is that bliss of the seven and not ten and perhaps being shocked that you're actually happier with seven than you were with ten Helping another get back on the horse in need of joy, a social life, alignment, or to work less and not more. With the emperor upright over the pain cycle and the queen of wands over their daydreaming or hiring or getting someone to take over for them with Scorpio and Aries upright, which is very Mars, seen as too attacking or defensive, unstable, or pushing the truth and then pulling back but no response attack. So it's like there's no, um, no reaction to their very aggressive or very defensive energies here. The other person is not being triggered. At 9.05 is the Hermit and the Hierophant. So at 9.06, bringing the lovers in with 9 and 6 and the, and the space between, we come to the 11th, which was yesterday, where I told you I woke up as I'm losing my voice with the 11th. 5 and 11 is, the, is Taurus and uh, Libra energy or societal norms, freedom, change, and expansion, and alignment of truth and balance here. And again, 2023 is the king of wands. And the 20 can, is judgment can reference, um, for me, Aquarius energy as well. And I woke to sing, sing a song, sing out loud, sing out strong. And, to, and this energy yesterday was of justice and the king of wands. It added up to it that day. So at 9.06 in a twist of fate, or suspended animation as things slow down to a halt at work. 
So I continued this read on the table the next morning. With Libra reverse defending their truth, issues at work, perhaps with the third party, and that could just be someone at work interfering with what they're doing. The block here is the Four of Swords upright on break, taking a rest or 5D connection, thinking at the beach or looking back at the Page of Cups, innocent, sharing and being sweet. With Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups upright, but the Four of Wands is reversed. Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups, or the Montagues and the Capulets, with the Ace of Swords, the whole truth on their side, being given to the Magician reversed. But the Four of Wands reversed is taking action or reaction and defense or being or taking offense to that right because for again they're saying that they're giving away confidential information forcing gemini reversed and or libra or virgo reversed to look back and the seven of cups reversed repeating steps are coming back down where heaven can wait while dumping emotional attachments and multiple emotional loads just weighing uh, them or you down Getting real or found the one, dumping the rest on a quest to find the urge to resist or get frustrated, mixing water with fire to balance them out, or having a yard sale. Perhaps someone offers to take everything for one lump sum. After detoxing and bored, in need of peace or travel, suddenly the King of Pentacles reversed and Knight of Cups upright go see or bump into the King of Wands reversed and the Empress reversed, who may be healing but still weak. But here, the King of Wands and Empress, perhaps we're trying to escape being seen by them or think that the King of Pentacles and Knight of Cups are just being nice because they want something from them or trying to steal. Or are the King of Wands reversed and Empress reversed the negative ones or just sick or ill or the injured party dreaming but needing coverage, needing to face the Queen of Cups upright and the Knight of Cups not letting them get out of it. With the Knight of Wands reversed who let her down fell short or played her or perhaps the knight of wands reversed just paralyzed by their own passions holding on with their cards close to their chest with the hermit shedding light on imprisonment by exposure or kids and or pets and sunshine where their hands are tied or trapped anxious or worried perhaps the kids will tell everything bringing clarity but lack of balance perhaps the page of wands and knight of wands both reversed are misbehaving or seen as lazy willing to pay them to come downstairs or go downstairs or help with the yard sale. So perhaps per offering to pay children to get them going or motivated, perhaps to in disconnect or at a distance or not seeing eye to eye, awake to the justice and that offer could be reneged at any time. Or indigo reverse may walk away just because they feel like it. And again, this could be a kid who you know you, you pay them to come work, they might just walk away with no reason and you'll never see them again. With lots of fire here and water, Virgo and Leo upright, Capricorn or Pisces reversed, Libra upright, and Gemini or Virgo reversed. With the Hierophant and Guidance, Marriage, Religion, the Establishment or Taurus, at the Divine Feminines or E-Tower, or reaping rewards, assessing their value or worth. Dumped, dumped on, or in the dumps, triggered, overwhelmed, or pushed to the limit by, um, by the Ten of Wands, labor work right that's that atlas energy of the way to the world taking one flame and leaving the rest or the nine of wands which is the wounded warrior behind focusing on just one just jane just george just b and just one and i'm getting george of the jungle has been coming up all week and george harrison came up today as well and then king george which is the little boy who will become king just Jane, just George. And that's when Matthew called at 9.35 at, for 35 minutes, which is the wounded warrior. And again, that energy of just being. And again, uh, from earlier from Gematria, the names Lucas and Robert came up, which were significant there, and Jalen. So at 10.13, the Wheel of Fortune and the transition of the death card, 13. Just Jane, just George, just be just one. As the wounded warrior and the impossible dream comes up at 1048, the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Cups walking away and within, where Atlas leaves the wounded warrior behind and takes just one flame and leaves the other nine with one flame in hand and twist of fate 
of atom and adam, which ADM is 144, the perfected who man, the perfected man, Manu. Adam ant and three rings of Jimmy Neutron here, where Adam is a dam or an ad in the AM or after death in the AM. Neutron and Tron is a throne with James's bond to three keys or three C-H-E-Z, the tree house with the monk key, the mon key in the middle, where mon is the key of the manu, the perfected man, the who mon, the hum of one. The four of pentacles, divine masculine's heart, in the crystal bat cave with Robin at the entrance. He's meditating like Buddha and thinking of Sphinx, that little minx, with Pegasus Tiger, where Ty is source, and G-E-R, grr, and Sphinx, lioness, with the lie. Source, lie, on, the S of Sophia, and grr. He says, frosted, or frosty, flakes, and scars, zazu, or the hornbill bird. They're great, or grr, and eight, the dance, and the blue bird with the horn and bill. The tiger flakes, and the lion eats cake, and ice cream too. We all scream, as the blue bird of happiness had come in, just like we all poo and get boo-boos. And that brings up boots too, because boo is the nickname for boots. So getting the boot comes up here too, or the kick in the pants. The Knight of Cups is swimming in the coffee cup or the infinity pool of wine. And is that whining? In the green room to be seen soon room, needing to surrender to all that is. And then the song Love Rain On Me was coming in. So the title's actually Rain. I always thought it was Love Rain On Me, but it's Lane O'er Me, like rain as in a king would rain. But again, the meaning is, has a double meaning. So love rain on me as he's baptized by the teardrops of the divine feminine that make him sad to be alone and yet inspire his flame, fan his flame, to open his innocent heart to love that is destined. As the page of cups is open to the heart deck. And so I pulled some cards from the I pulled some cards from the heart deck and the underlying energy was the forgiveness card and the cards that came out, um, well, the forgiveness card is the power to say no or walk away at any time. And then weight also came up to allow nature to take its course. So then the star or karma, like I said, was in the underlying energy with all that Aquarius there to heal and wake up with the four of cups and the island to oneself wishing upon a star, but the page of swords is reversed in negative self-talk. Perhaps they think they are unable to reach that star in the impossible dream, as the grid or net is taken down by eight flames of energetic grace. In color my world, in who of man, in the exchange of the six of cups reversed, suddenly disabled or destabilized, or sudden realization of a move, a visit, or that the party's over, as the Knight of Wands reversed, had his block knocked off, or went into a spin or dream, fallen, paralyzed, or player, but half players win and half players lose, going underground to save face, challenged by the Emperor upright with reasons of truth, and the Knight of Swords sending a message to get the Page of Cups' his thoughts. Before the Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups, or the Montagues and the Capulet families, influence them, to share or tell all, or message or delivery on break, uh, rest, vacation, or a stone-breaking plant, thinking about proposing by offering to stop and wait for them, to come down and face them, to see the justice or the fairness in rejecting a proposal and walking away, committed to the divine feminine's heart, rejected, and yet climbs the stairs with flame in hand, with the ring and the keys, which came up here as the atom in the middle, right, with the three rings, and the snake 
around them. So there's the ring and the three keys of the neutrons, electrons, and protons of the atom, the pros, the elects, and the neutrals in, are in the house. And PEM was coming up as the pen, pen. So pens in the house. And again, that can represent Pennsylvania or writing or anything having to do with pen. But then Penny for Your Thoughts was coming up. And actually, Penny is the, uh, the health care system in Pennsylvania. Penny for Your Thoughts with the scent, S-C-E-N-T, and descent, the inspiration to climb and come around again. And William Penn's coming up. The will of the pen, right? The mighty sword and the freedom of speech again coming up. So again, that doorway of 514 came up here. So May 14th is significant. And again, I told you in that movie for Color Girls, it's, um, I'm just blanking out on name, but Mrs. Cosby lived in that apartment and she was the older, wiser one in this very poor apartment building. And the other two younger women, one was abusing themselves greatly, the other one was being abused greatly. So the mediator between two younger women and again, in, in um, the awful scene, uh, the one woman who was being abused, and I'm not going to tell you because if you haven't seen the movie, it's, it's um, very unexpected. But anyway, very abusive situation. So, uh, and also 314 came up earlier as pi, and now here's 514. And both 3 and 5 are Taurus energies. 3 is the Empress, 5 is the Hierophant. The energy of Taurus and then the 14, which is Sagittarius with the temperance card. And that higher love. So it's like raising the ante right there. So at 11.06 of truth and justice, the alignment of the six of the lovers with space between the ring and the three keys were coming up as the three ring circus under the big T and the mon key in the middle, the who, who is the color and shade, the rainbow of the white source and fade to black hole when relaxed. Black though is actually blue Madonna, the indigo of in die go, which is in two go one, just one of the I and the I am, but the I that's knocked over becomes the H of the who man, the H on high, the vein that returns the blood to its master, the mother, a noble woman, three times a lady, the mother, mistress, and maiden, XXX equals 30 with three times the chromosomes. So triple X syndrome came up here and I looked it up from the mayoclinic.org. And trisomy came up, however you might pronounce it. It's tri, so, and my. So trisomy, trisomy, trisomy. Um, it's also called 47 because it's considered the 47th chromosome, right? Because it's usually considered 23 pairs, which would be 46. And then the, an extra X would be the 47th. But you all know that we have a 24th pair of chromosomes because they're in the etheric realm and not seen, and they're not awakened until you awaken. So this syndrome, triple X syndrome, affects one out of a thousand females, developmental delays and early learning disabilities, seizures and kidney problems, symptoms of being taller than average. And this doesn't have to be taller than average, but it more than, you know, more than average is. Um, and they can be normal intelligence, but they end up being slightly lower in intelligence than their siblings some with intellectual disabilities and sometimes behavioral problems, delayed speech and or motor skills regarding sitting and walking, perhaps when they're babies, um, reading, understanding, and or math, ADHD and or um, autism spectrum, anxiety and depression can be in these people uh, or these women, problems with fine, gross motor skills, memory, judgment, information processing, sometimes with vertical folds of skin that cover the inner corner of the eye, or wide eyes, um, curved pinky, flat feet, breastbone with inward bow, weak muscle tone, seizures, kidney issues, 
ovaries that don't work properly at a young age. Um, this is not usually inherited. It's a random genetic error uh, where there's an error in cell division, either by mon disjunction, which is where the mother's egg or father's sperm divides incorrectly, and that affects all their cells in their body, or mosaic, which is a random event in the embryo's development where only some of the cells become the triple X or 47 syndrome, and notice the 47 of the heart to crown, because of the 47 chromosomes, not 46. And you can get this confirmed by genetic testing. And then amniocentesis came up uh, just as an ad right there too, but the scent was coming up in the middle of amniocentesis, so I was being guided to write it down. And again, the 100. The 100 in the middle. The OO is also the googly eyes and the double energy of source backing you up. I am the Neo, which is the infant, right? And the hundred is considered the whole. It's considered the source energy, the whole of it. So the number 47 and 48th chromosomes are the 24th pair that's in the etheric realms. But also the 47 comes up as the heart to crown, and 48 would then be the from the lower heart to the higher heart. And I don't want to say lower heart because it's just at the heart, but just to distinguish between the two hearts. The etheric chromosomes, or the 24th pair, where the etheric X chromosome lowers in vibration, and this is the energy that I was getting, is the message I was getting. Not this is not from the website. Where the etheric X chromosome lowers in vibration, or there's some kind of damage to the etheric chromosome, and therefore it becomes seen in the 3D as this triple X issue. Perhaps it gets damaged, or their vibration overall is higher, syncing with 5D reality and realizing their 47th and 48th chromosomes. So trisomy or trisomy, which breaks down to tri some Y or Y chromosomes. That's pretty funny the way that's written. So again, going back to the Aquarius energy and the underlying energy of star and karma and reaching that star with the page of swords reversed who can't due to the eight of wands circling or the splatter wheel with the knight of wands reversed going back to the drawing board, the six of cups reversed falling out and a splattering of colors and hiding underground challenged by the emperor and his reasoning until ready to come out the diamond in the rough the stone breaking plant or the ball buster within and again this energy is the energy of of breaking down the norms by being a plant inside um, a negative energy in order to change the system from within a difficult mother or father perhaps to make life hell can also be referenced as this ball buster to teach your DNA in order how to thrive, right? Because if you can survive in that, your DNA will become much stronger and excel. It'll transcend. It'll transcend its limitations. So the tower is upright, the epiphany of the Knight of Swords to expand and underground perhaps at 1135, the Wounded Warrior again in alignment and then rest. And then the grounding, integrating and mastering takes place. And then the coming back down a bit, and again in the spiral, right, to gain momentum, to rise even higher. In disconnect or at a distance, at 1136, the Atlas energy of walking up the stairs from the basement to come out of the dark with one flame in hand and leaving the nine of wands or the nine other wands behind. In a need to see face to face, awakening to justice through truth and balance and alignment, a proposal not accepted and walking away, knowing your worth, that it's everything your heart desires, and doth and doth thee protest too much on the way to Grand Mother's house, the divine feminine in the E Tower with an elevated perspective, triggering Atlas to leave the wounded warrior behind for one big beautiful bold flame to color their world in shift of perspective and twist of fate. I was getting and whist as well for twist. The divine masses heart in the waiting room, 
waiting to go on and rise to the occasion, to Omega, the Om or home of the Divine Feminine Ego, not the Three of Cups and not the Nine of Cups, but the page opened wide with innocence and wonder, the collateral beauty that occurs in the shift, the twist and the shout of dropping into your humanity, the who from Man, the Manu, the perfected being, just B, where B is number two, and just A equals number one, just one. Ba for the black sheep, and A for the apple of their eye, or perhaps Fonzie, and the reflection of the pupil. The page of cups pupil, the pup eel, which is he in French, or the puppy love. The pup he and the pup E. Hee haw on the sea saw at 11.49 to 50, which is the ultimate emotional fulfillment of being happy within yourself alone and with the ultimate family of heaven on earth. So then we get to, I hope you appreciate that message. It was very profound. Um, we have the good to row at the top. We have my half deck of the Norman Rivery and Kipper deck, and then the Wild Animal Guidebook, and then the half deck of Rider Waite. So a little closer up for you guys. It's hard to tune in to those delicate features of the Good to Row. Okay. So this one was done, it was cut at 1221, the Good to Row. And so was the Lenormand Kipper decks at 1221. And then at 22 is the Wild Unknown, and 23 to 24, which is the King and Queen of Wands, the half deck. So the numbers at the end of each pile came up as 3411 and 3947. 3 4 shut the door to align with the Knight of Cups from the heart to the crown, synchronicities and heaven, the Empress and the Emperor as bookends, gate holders, the Empress and then the Hermit of the heart to the crown with heaven in their eyes. In the energetic exchange or arrows of love, and the leap in transition to the nine of the hermit and the one and the all compassion and heaven in their eyes as able to see the stairway but perhaps needs a cane to get there where ble of able means wolf or fox's tail the wick or the sheet or blanket the diaper the blue lake to turn the page and or sort as we just talked about turning the page and now it comes up as a definition and able and cane is sugar, a reed, flax, or bamboo, a rod or stick to strike, beat, dog, boat, vessel, little boat, and ship. Hammer, freezing, biting, dreadful, awful, terrible, metal, implement, or tube. And then ain also comes up here as the old mother or mother, the um, tortilla? Without, forefather, guess, suspect, glimpse, indulgence, year, and ringworm. Herein, rice, nod, anus, alongside, closer, against him, as in a song. I sense, assume, one, and inside. And then A-I-N-U also came up, which is a Japanese language, where it also means one woman always still. On and on, the fish hook, still, even, anyway, yet own iron, two iron, flat iron, handcuffs, shackles, one's own, legs steel, nevertheless incessantly, a blue wolf tails fox to turn the page to see mother, and there's that capital C of mother for the Christ vibration. The blue wolf tails fox to turn the page to see mother closer, one I, one woman incessantly, one's own. Able with cane, a blue lake with a blanket, and sea, indulgent alongside and inside. The sheep in wolves' clothing, or the blankie, and the child in mother's clothing coming together here. So at 1252, the hanging man and the queen of swords is the underlying energy of the king of water or the king of cups and the 18 of the child, the oyster and the knight of cups, 39 
And the oyster could be construed as the high priestess, right? Keeping to themselves, but they have their feelers out. But it's also developing the pearl within. In that silence. So the King of Cups moon child is all clammed up with their feelers out or feelings out. And oy, what a stir. With the Knight of Cups coming in to see his best girl, all waterworks here and whale works, perhaps metal work too, and S standard pressed steel keeps coming up. The underlying energy of the 19 and the sun, the one and the magician, and the white Pegasus with the ace of swords of air, like Santa and Rudolph on Christmas or Xmas, and the truth of what's under that black hood. He, her sunshine, she, his moonshine, five of fire, exposing the magician's truth in the group or conflict or play with the nine of the hermit and the king of water. With Leo and Gemini or Virgo and Virgo and water here and the four of pentacles reversed as earth, the sweet one coming out with something for you. The six of air and the big ship coming in were un able to see until the clouds cleared away the arc and sails and masts as the eight of air or swords angel which looked exactly like Lisa Renee in this picture as it was coming up as like her pushing clouds out of the way to release an air current the alternating currents pushing oh I was getting the alter right all the all Terrans so it's like the all, oh, I keep getting stuck at that, the Altians. So the alternate currents are also coming out as the Altian currents, right? Our, our forefathers from off planet and Lisa Renee is this um, angel bending down, like pushing these clouds to release the air current from the Altians, pushing the eggs out of their nests and seagulls out of the way for their own good, perhaps because they're gull able. Three cards, the fortune's wheel, four of water, and the nine of earth, destined to see through the portal of the bow and the sun, to see the sun looking back right behind you in the mirror, or the sun has your back, as the pearl juggler, mermaid who lives in the sea, he in the looking glass sees her, the seahorse's maiden, or sea, Pegasus, and the star of Alpharats, which is that star that both Andromeda and Pegasus share, right? The hand fasting is the star of Alpharats. So from earthsky.org, the large and small Magellanic, like Magellan, 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 Magellanic clouds, large and small. So here's the clouds again. And this is the confirmation from earthsky.org. After we just saw the cards of the clouds being pushed out of the way, because these clouds are being pushed out of the way so that you could see the Andromeda alignment from the southern, which is always seen, I think, from the southern hemisphere is what they were saying. But um, it's also seen at certain times from the northern hemisphere. But the A Galaxy or Messier M31 was coming up here, bigger than the Milky Way. And September to October is the best time to see it in the eastern sky at nightfall, overhead in the middle of the night, and then the high west at dawn. And you look for it through Cassiopeia, which looks like a W or an M in the sky, the queen you know, of Andromeda. And then the um, star is made of mercury and, and manganese. It's a binary star. The brightest of those known of mercury and manganese. And this is from Wikipedia as well, Alpharats. Or Alfrats, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. But it, the name also comes from Sira, S-I-R-R-A-H, which is Arabic, which translates as navel of the mare or horse. And, you know, I always call God Mr. Ed. 96.7 days orbit of these binary stars, usually calm atmospheres. Some elements sink under the force of gravity, while others are pushed to the surface by the radiation pressure. So, again, there's a separation here, polarization. 
but an unusually calm atmosphere. Alpharats is, I broke down all the words in alpharats. And so the messages come out as this. And by the way, it's also, um, uh, what's it all about? Alfie came up and also the Alpheus River and the river in Hades. So it's an actual river, but also the, um, the, uh, the myth about uh, Hades. The, in Ionian Sea in Ellis. So even though they're talking about Ellis, Greece, Ellis Island was also coming up here. So Elpharats, let's see what else was coming up here at the top before I turn the page. Uh, Delta, Pegasi, Pegasi is one of the names of the stars, so Delta's coming up here too. But Alp, the word Alp came up, as in the Alps, which of course is the giant mountain, but also means the whole and to devour, the Elf spirit, ghost, genius, fairy, and nightmare, the brave, the magic, the giant, warrior, and lord and hero, um, and some other words were coming up within the word as well. And what's it all about, Alfie? God in the Alpheus River and the River Hades, seeing her at the bottom of the sea with the Nine of Pentacles independent, grounding, integrating, and mastering her pearl diving juggling act with Libra looking in. And that may be referencing Lisa Renee, I don't know what sign she is, but it looked like her. It doesn't have to be Lisa Renee. It was just the energy of the angel pushing the clouds aside. At 134, which is the masculine or the magician, and the 34 of the energetic exchange of the Eight of Wands, Arrows of Love. So we get back to this definition. I just want to make sure I didn't miss that. Okay. Uh, the underlying energies here were 16 and 16 now going back to the decks at 134. The stars and the six of cups and alpharats and the man with sudden thoughts of her. The twin towers on destined journey with F.W. Baker and C.M. and the man with the top hat and bags to boot on the love train of Capricorn after Scorpio and Libra and the star of Bethlehem a supernova hand fasting experience with lovers hiding out in Hades or underground in the night of, or the King of Swords nature, peaceful spiritual union, not nature, but it's coming up as the King of Swords, mature, peaceful, spiritual union of the lovers hanging out in Hades or underground in a calla lily style the pink and emerald aligning with the 11 of the rod and staff or Cain and Abel to crack the whip if necessary with the page of pentacles curious one Jack be nimble and quick but avoids the flame in the candlestick remember that BLE means wick as in Abel a wick right they avoid the Abel doesn't Cain is the one who who tries to go around the candlestick and avoid the flame. Abel is referencing the one who goes through it because they are the wick. It's very natural to them. The Abel fans the flame, the twin chassis and wheel, the shadow and tow, home on the go, requiring perpetual balancing with the two of the main female and the one of the main male. And I hope you appreciate that they both came up together because there's two decks together of the Lenormand and the Kipper decks and the main ma main male and main female never come up next to each other. So the main female came up next to number the main male, which are two and one and the 18 of the child, right? So here's the mother, father and the child energy as the moon child, which comes up as the daughter energy and the star that they share is coming up as the child. And again, the daughter is the cell splitting name, right? So they become the daughter cell. Or is it the sister? I forget. But anyway, it's that feminine energy. The two in the one world and the moon child off to the side. The one of the 43 and the three of cups have coming together in the middle. Mr. Ed's navel, his center guy, Pegasus, keeping all in line or arc, should I say, with the 18 and the 43 equals 61. The little girl and the son and then the mother of the 61 taking that risk to love the 24 of the reflecting swans of the Queen of Wands and the Page of Cups. 
or Pegasus. So the Queen of Wands comes up as the Mermaid and the Page of Cups here is coming up as Pegasus. The Romance at Mid-Moon, the journey to the center of the Earth. And remember I brought this up before, they show me this the energy of the Earth's core being the womb that births the daughter moon and the sun, okay, comes from the, the central sun. The mother's womb, her child's birth as the moon, an addition to the original set. The journey within, the journey home of Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces and the Omega of the Queen of Wands or the Feminine Ego. The 24 pairs, remember, Omega and the Queen of Wands is 24, reference, referencing the 24 pairs of chromosomes and the Feminine Ego, right, bringing in that etheric pair. So at 150 is the Masculine and the Ten of Cups Happy Family or Emotional Fulfillment and the 22 of the Official Person with the 42 of the Compass and Direction. The 34 of the King of Pentacles with fish and the energetic exchange and arrows of love. And the 37 of the boy who feels impoverished. The fool's leap to the Two of Cups, whether northeast or southwest. The King of Pentacles in energetic exchange with the King of Cups. Aries, earth and water here, perhaps leaving the official position to just be a boy like just, I'm just a girl in front of a boy asking him to love me. The King of Cups is just wants to be a boy and not an official person who misses his mom. The 36 of the crossbow or the six of wands and the 35 of the wounded warrior and the pathway and the butterflies of transformation of Atlas challenge to leave the wounded warrior behind and the 36 10 of wands distant horizons of working really hard with that weight of the world with the great ship, but no water to float the boat or cushion their landing or fall. In the 26 of the Page of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles here, with secrets or perhaps a journal or someone journaling here, or decoding the Ten of Pentacles family, business, community, or legacy, or how to be the legacy. Right, so there's bringing from the just one to the just two to now the sea of just three. With the 12 hanging out with the seven of pentacles, divine feminine's heart in the E tower and the wise birds or hanging out with the flock with Aries, fire, Pisces and Scorpio there at 157 of the masculine and the three of swords, the underlying energy of the snake, the collective and the seal with the elephant, the raccoon and the oyster in the stampede of the elders to the masked ones in hiding with their feelers out and ready to crack as we had cracked eggs all over the place this week, as I told you. With um, uh, the uh, Elroy was coming up here as El, Ray, and Oi, what a star, or stir. With Ellie and Rocky, with big ears. I was just getting big, so that's like sex in the city. Ellie and Rocky with big or big ears and big appetite. Ellie clearing with each powerful step and Rocky listening carefully through the wall or veil for a message or clearing house. Uh, Cell Roy was also coming up. Cell Roy in an urgent path. And again, the name Elroy coming up. And then Elroy Jetson came up as the Jetsons came up earlier too. Um, something else that came up in the news was, I don't know the story, Elroy Quinus, um, whose nickname was Cabbage, died. And apparently that was a big deal. It was another country, so I'm not familiar with it, but that was coming up. Um, so at 204, which is the high priestess and the emperor, and the first card here was the horse. And Teddy always reminds me of a horse. His color, he just looks, he runs like a horse. He looks, he's just really beautiful and he runs. Zoe's reminds me of a horse. And right when I wrote down horse, he's standing there staring at me. <laughs> I don't see him right now. <laughs> he went underground. So Mr. Ed looking here as the unicorn looks to him and the turtle is slow or waving people around them. Something's about to hatch. And the crocodile is being told they can't wait there. It's like being at the airport where the crocodile is hovering around but they're told by police or whatever, someone that they can't wait there. So now they don't have their advantage position here. So now the croc is triggered into the scorpion personality or their side. 
with zebra in the middle taking in the camel who's slightly blue but independent, yet the zebra is using their third eye and going against the grain, standing up for themselves, right? Using their empowerment as opposed to letting that crocodile get away with what they're not allowed to do. So then I was guided, um, someone had said online, open a book, so I did. And at 2.11 was the High Priestess and Justice. with the feminine and alignment or truth and balance. And that's when I opened the, uh, the Trino Sophia book. I opened, so that was at 30, 20, uh, at 211, but uh, 30 and 28 came up there too with the uh, union and the 28 of the twin flames. And I opened to page 71, but the picture was of the writing in French. So I couldn't read what it said. I could read some of it, but I can't read it fluently. But it has, I just want to show you what it looks like, right? So this is the page I opened to. And then I ended up opening to here, where it looks like I had underlined some things earlier that I had also done, but I haven't gone to this book in a long time. I, don't, I didn't even remember what I read. But it's all about St. Germain and alchemy. Um, and these were like secret texts, you know, that nobody knew about. So I read through... So then I was guided from that page where I'd been before, which starts with the keys of Thoth, of notes and commentaries there. And I read pretty much through page 144, and the book ends at 149. So it was pretty much the end of the book right there. And that's funny because I had this, this post that I made before a couple years ago with distortion written on there. One with arm and one with legs. And there's that division of the upper body and the lower body. And then the astrological chart comes up, right? Because the first six signs is the lower half. And then the second six signs is more of the, the upper half and the illumination. And again, remember ADM of Adam is 144, which also equals nine. So this is all based in, in the alchemy energy, uh, which is what this book talks about. And um, so what came up here the Priory came up, and then it's in French, and then it started with the Keys of Thoth when I turned to page 130, which was then analyzing the section of V1, which is section 6, page 43, where 43 comes up again, which is that Three of Cups, and my son, Matthew. The V1 of the 6, which is also the 6th sign, which is Virgo, which is me, and the altar of the four elements, which is the triangle shape. So now I'm going into the information from the book, okay? So the four is the square, the three is the triangle, which equals the seven, where the four times the three is also the 12 of completion. The elements of the four in the world being the 12 and the three being the primary states. So four times the three primary states equals the world. So the altar equals the body, the materials um, the material parts, the square, arranged in spiritual order, which is the triangle of salt, sulfur, and mercury, the body, spirit, and the soul. The air above the altar, so they're describing the picture, which I'll show you that too. If I can figure out where that was. All right, so we open to... We opened to 71, and so the text stopped at 72, and then we had 73 was um, one of the pictures, okay? But the picture they were, descri they were describing that came up as significant was before that. Let me see if I can find where that was in the earlier section. Because the symbolism was also significant. I want to show it to you. Yeah, so here. So remember the... Um, this the middle part right here because that's um, that's a seal all right and that's on um, page 54 and I'll get into that in a second so the air above the altar the crux and the ansta the copper metal which represents Venus the reproductive energy of the soul Venus here was considered the Lucifer of the ancients the light bearer the star of self-knowledge the power to multiply is common to both internal and external man. 
The picture is the symbol of the spiritual generation, the mystery of the Melchizedek, his own mother and father, and is above the law. The perpetual regeneration by use of the stone and the equilibrium of the spirit, soul, and body. And again, which is what we're going through. So we understand this firsthand because it's what we were awakened to, whether we liked it or not, right? The the homunculi, the crystal man, is the energy there. When, when we become equal or balanced, we become the crystallized manu, basically. The immor immortally generating the ego, capable of precipitating personalities at will, and yet unchanged by these different personalities. Instead of soul imprisoned by the body, the body lives in the soul. The body's, the body's solely expression is solely the expression of consciousness, intelligence, and action, represented by the candle, the bird, and the burning altar. The hearer font here in alchemy is the master of the hidden house, the keys of Thoth, the alchemy, a religion of fire, of Zara Thustrism, Z-A-R-A-T-H-U-S-T-R-I-S-M, the initiator to the temple of the 360 columns, and again, this is another picture, and gives the names, new names, for each disciple becoming an alchemist. The bird being the Amphircha, the mother shall bear likeness or double, which references the Immaculate Conception, the mother and son. And then uh, at the, the altar is the priest. The initiator births the disciple. And then the torch, which becomes the torch, the flame. The hall equals the sky, the worshiping of the glory, which is to come. And again, doing your meditations as if it were uh, made manifest already. And the change of the altar, which equals the athanor, the self-feeding furnace used by the alchemists, divided in two, the immortality of the four quarters of the heavens. So again, I've been talking about we're in the fourth quarter this year. Const you know, I talked about the third leg of the race and now we're in the fourth quarter, not realizing that I'm talking about the alchemists, which is what this is referring to. The 81 thrones is the palace of the sky with nine steps to each throne, nine, which is based on the, this school, right, of alchemy of nine lesser and then three greater in the Rosicrucian mysteries, where ADM is the 144, which equals nine, which is the sacred number of man. The wise man is the manifestation of the most high. So the, the nine masters then bestow their gifts. And so there's nine sections here. First is the cube of the gray earth. Second is the three cylinders of the black stone, which is the three phases of the moon. Third is the rounded crystal which is Mercury. Four is the crest of blue plumes, which is Venus. Five is the silver vase, the sun. Uh, six is the cluster of grapes, or Mars. Seven is a bird, or Jupiter. Eight is the small altar, or Saturn. And nine is the torch, or the fixed stars in the sky. So these are the nine masters bestowing their gifts, but there's also the seven rings, which then at the end uh, become, they become something else. And again, this is the transformation, the transcendence here. So the seven rings are starting with this number two and the moon, the ability to increase and decrease or diminish. Um, the mercury is return the machinations of deceit and craftiness. Uh, the four, the crest of blue plumes, the Venus, is, uh, again, transmuting lusts and passions. The sun is ambitions. Mars is rashness and profane boldness. Jupiter is uh, accumulation and riches. Saturn is the gate of chaos, falsehood, and evil plotting. And then the ninth one of the fixed stars says, is considered the eighth sphere there, where you're freed of all illusion and dwell in the light and sing praises to the, fa they say father, because this is back in the past in, in alchemy, but it's the mother father in the voice, which only the pure of spirit may understand. And then becomes the, the mystical spiritual birth as the one, the selflessness of the two, 
the end of ages and cycles of the three. The four is considered the fourth quarter or the Aquarius, the leg of the great man. The five then is the birth spirit. Um, and the six is the regeneration. Seven, they who live in the light or the truth. Eight of the fruitage of virtue. Nine of the springing forth, the Egyptian. So becoming the illuminated one. The Egyptian, the coming forth by day. And there's that reference to the fourth quarter as well. The completion of the ninth mystery. The full control of the body's faculties, functions, and powers. Of the nine lesser and the three greater. Of self-control and purification, which is the grounding and integrating. And then the three greater of the three keys, which are Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Um, and at this point, it still remains the same. The bird, the torch, and the light. And then the three greater are considered this of creation, whereas the lesser are considered the grounding and integrating part. Before leaving the chamber of initiation, the candidate drinks the water of life, the blood of the logos or the sun, the divine energy that sustains the elect, the constantly flowing in the grail of the mysteries, and then depart, which is my, I use stage right, but they depart to the right side, but stage right or the right hand path. So page 54 was then section seven, which is then six is Virgo, and then seven goes into Libra, which is where the body is cut in half and the signs are cut in half. Um, the seventh plate, and there's that, that picture I showed you of the seal um, of equilibrium in Libra. So that's under Libra. And all around that, the seal is the sacred script. And in the middle is that sacred seal and it looks like, you know, as you can see, I just did a quick drawing of it. It looks like, like a face, right? It's the eyes and the nose, right? The third is focusing on the third eye. And, um, and again, when you put the, um, the two circles together, they become the face as well. I've given you examples in my technical drawings of that kind of stuff all the time. But especially the eyes and the nose, if not considered the mouth as well, but the sulfur and the salt, the sun and the moon, the father and mother, the heaven and the earth, or the philosopher's stone. The cross there is the lapis of the philosophorum, and there's that Sophia energy of wisdom in there, of the earth, wind, and fire, of salt, sulfur, and mercury, and azoth, which is the ether, the water of the sages. The baptism, which is you, right, when you become the illumined one. Where Aquarius is the final disintegration of personality, beyond it is Pisces or the Nirvana, the purifications of the three baths. The water becomes discolored in the first bath, like when you get a foot bath where it takes all the toxins out. The second where your foot is then impregnated or the stone is impregnated with a reddish liquid, extremely corrosive. And the third is then washing that away over a 16 day period. The universal mercury or the azoth, the spirit of life, passes through Eden, which means vapor in Hebrew, and pours itself into the four main rivers or the four elements of the universal mercury, the baptismal water, where Libra divides the lower from the upper, or in other words, Passover, the material to the immaterial by alchemical baptism. So section eight, of course, then goes into Scorpio at 405, where the sun with the face of the logos the rays concealed by the clouds. So here again is that reference of the clouds concealing until it's ready to be seen. To hide the divine light from the eyes of the profane, the lion that is now crowned with seven rays, the ambition transmuted to aspiration of grapes and illumination of the lion and grapes, which is wisdom and generation. And I was, it was bringing up blue apples too, for me. The nine of the ark and the coffin, the ego laid to rest, the full sun resurrection, where the ark is the body and then the three days of the resurrection of like Jesus on the cross. The Scorpio is the high priest releasing the Ka of his disciple into the Amenti, where the ninth section of Sagittarius is the Trojan horse, the temple and its adepts all hidden then comes to view. And the tenth is the ten, the first of three greater mysteries of Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. The life of immortality, where the tomb is now empty. You have achieved alchemy. You are now part of the elect. When the sixth sign or age is to be the breath. 
would retire into their glass eggs, resting for years until it's time to get cracked open again, or again being reborn. The mysteries go under, underground for a period to rise again years and years later. When the sixth sign is the life giver, I will come forth. So listen to this part carefully. When the sixth sign is the life giver, or the one who bursts, I will come forth to be freed with a shout of joy, as we talked about ice cream and everybody screams. When the downpouring of the Holy Spirit descends, a covenant of blood with one at the time of the fourth quarter, that is, the water man with a face or Aquarius. At the outpouring of the Almighty, or the persecutors and adversaries, shall shut up and overcome. Like the butterfly, man must die many times to achieve immortality. And on page 144 was the 11th, which is Aquarius, mastery of thought and breaking of the ego away from the, the intellect. 147 is then 12, where the square then has the circle and the triangle within it, the union of the divine radiance and effulgent power. Isis as nature and crowning led by nature, wise men ascends into the presence of the three masters of Pisces in the universal lodge whose radiant sun blazes in the sky. Nirvana, the stone projected, nature revealed, and the initiate soars upward with triumphant declaration of the master's consummatum est, or it is finished. And then they go from wearing a green robe to a red robe, which red and green become brown, which is the earth or mud of nature. So red to green, because now they are the medicine. They don't need the elixir anymore, but they could become the elixir. The crimson of the red elixir, which is the ruby to diamond light. In the hall of thrones, the wise man's house, having become the alchemist. So back to the cards with the underlying energy of the Six of Cups at 429, the Emperor and being present in the moment, the Empress, as the children and the mother are inspired by the twin flame, push and pull, freed by the Two of Cups connection and the Nine of Wands wounded warrior being offered an elixir as the Page of Cups and the Knight of Swords or the Innocent One and the Messenger of Truth, but ignores because someone here is too mad at the fool or twin flame. The Knight of Pentacles offers help to the suffering in silence or the sister or those who are stressed out or can't sleep at night with the magician King of Pentacles, Gemini or Virgo, with wise counsel or exposed by the King of Wands or forensics or the devil or Capricorn waving here with the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Again, indicating sovereignty of motion and sovereignty of your practical life, world or money and the high priestess, the devil and the angel of Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, the king of cups and the queen of cups here. And the uh, king of swords with the queen of wands, getting the message that the knight of cups and page of swords is they're moving on traveling to the queen of pentacles as the knight of wands and emperor comes in to Scorpio excuse me, Scorpio to Libra or Dark Knight's Justice as Cancer, Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio Libra lovers here, or the Crocodile is the Emperor, Scorpio Libra, the Dark Knight Justice is Scorpion, or the Emperor Croc becomes the Death and Scorpion to in approaching the Libra Camel with Zebra Lover mediating. The Queen of Swords presents or speaks to the world, the Divine Feminine Pisces, about the gold coin, the Christ consciousness, the page of pentacles, the curious one, the student of life, the philosopher's stone, the path of one. You hear that helicopter? It's right, it feels like it's right on top of my house. So that was at 233, like 50, right? The ultimate satisfaction of the two of the high priestess or higher self of the Christed energy. So it's the feminine and the masculine and the ultimate fulfillment. So the King of Cups, and it's 246 on the regular clock, which is the higher self or high priestess, divine feminine, and the 46 of the children. 
The King of Cups, Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Cups, all three water signs here, as the Knight of Cups rides with the Queen of Pentacles, perhaps the Knight of Wands and the Emperor, or Saggy Aries, may be coming up as the Sulfur Fire Energy who catches a ride, as the Scorpion Knight of Cups arrives at Justice or Libra, the Queen of Pentacles coming up as the Salt of the Earth, and the Lovers or the Queen of Swords or Gemini as Mercury gets the word out about alchemizing to the gold coin, which coin is also Kohan or Co-Pilots or Pi Lots. The circle with a line down the middle sharing lots equally at 444, the angelic realms. Oh, by the one early, earlier... It was 144, ah, the line where it said, I told you that the male, the main male and main female never come together. That was 144 at the time. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so. So then I came back at 444 um, to the star Alpharetz. Alpha, Ray, and the vertebrae. The mountainous giant versus the elf or fairy spirit ghost. The era of unification, chain event, and the weaving. Her statue, the whitish people, clan, or race without us or U.S. The all bushes or hedges that are limited and yet statuesque. And also the Alp, which is her statue, like the Alp represents the divine feminine, how great it is. Um, or being very big or very well formed. The we, the, at 633, which is the Christ vibration, 33 slash 6, 6 is the lovers, 33 is the seven of wands, standing up for oneself. And the underlying energy of the T cards here, of the wheel and the horseshoe and the rambling good luck, just rolling along without a name, with the horseshoe or shoes on or got wheels, the fly or shoe fly period of depression or ill health and the dog who's far away thinking of you and the skull of keeping secrets that can harm you, the weeping willow and family sorrow and the ink pot that's been spilled the problems to be resolved by rambling aimlessly, which is coming up as something good, pinned or a new job with news on the way and the bird flying in with the moon or changes in your life and feeling tied down or yoked or frustrated. And there's that yoked of the eggs who, that keep cracking open and breaking. The scissors and disappointment or the need to cut something out, bridging the needle and the thread, the sincere wish granted, and the older man in September or involvement with the law with good luck. The horseshoe, Hydra, and the M. Messier 83, where Messier is literally the messier reflection of 38, which again, I told you 83 is uh, what Evelyn adds up to, and my daughter's name adds up to 38, and again, mother and daughter reflecting exactly. The fox is resourceful as the cactus, the crown with the honor and respect that will come to you the owl of good advice from a wise person and the bell that goes off or an announcement funneling frustration with the ram, the stubborn, aggressive person. And then the grasshopper, delicate. And remember that came up with Kung Fu, the grasshopper, which also could be like the glass shopper, the glass slipper. The grasshopper is delicate and the parrot will gossip about all your secrets at 706 of the chariot and the lovers. I was just getting um, Bridget's diary. So somebody's diary might be found or something or, or taken. Or maybe someone just stole some a page or words from it. So, and that could be just psychically knowing, especially if it's your twins, right? You, have, you can have the same thoughts. So um, next was then... Today, I was just getting Good Friday. I don't know why, but today's coming up as Good Friday. And reminding us that TM is also Transcendental Meditation. Um, 
And again, the energy of T, capital T for me, is always the top dog energy of like the father source, and then the M is the mother. So it's that mother-father transcendental, transcendental meditation. Um, pennies from heaven, and the 64th quarter, not just the fourth quarter, but the 64 quarter. Uh, the lovers and the father. Or the lovers in the fourth quarter. And again, I woke up at 7.20 this morning, the 7 of the chariot, the 20 of the wake-up call, and um, saint, saint energy coming up there. And then at 8.08 is when I got up, which is Lionsgate. I hadn't slept well last night at all. Um, I went to bed early, actually, but I couldn't sleep till pretty late. And then I woke up at like at 7.20, which, you know, I don't usually wake up that early. But I just want to show you these cards because they had come out really beautiful. And both decks by the fourth or fifth card was the twin flame energy there. So, And you can actually read those cards if you'd like to. And that was, they had been pulled the evening of the 11th. So now we're on the 12th. And I just pulled a few tea leaves. So I'm going to show you the tea leaves. And all, all the messages are just from these tea leaves I pulled. I pe pulled these. And then I pulled these. And I just allowed them to come out organically. Okay. So just two separate reads. And this is what came up. So first came up the, tar the carriage in the de desk. The journey to your desk or your work perhaps. And protected legs or feather at the front left and back right. And for me, it was bringing up my, my mother's mother, um, the bluebird of happiness came up and she was a bird watcher. And we called her Yaya. So Yaya might be the way you call grandma too, it's Greek. And the box on wheels or a planter on wheels with wheels and flowers or a wagon for flowers was coming up. The carriage where it's broken down to car and then riage which I meant to look up the word Riyadh, but I went into Gematria by accident. So it came up with number one, Abaddon, which means to be lost or perish, informer or stool pigeon. Um, the second entry was cash and the third was safe. The fourth was capital T and then lowercase b. The fifth was based, six, Rick. Seven was coin and eight was boo, B-O-O, but also is the nickname for boots, the constellation. So at 918, again, my birthday, and again, that's not plugging me. It's about the divine feminine and aligning with herself, the underlying energy of the apple and temptation, or perhaps the apple of your eye to test you. The bluebird and flowers for happiness. Something has you over a barrel or something knocked over a barrel, eggs from the nest, like I, I experienced the nest raided, exposed wealth and tulip or tulips and great passion. In the carriage, the decor and or journey, um, so again, the energy of yoking, which is, you know, attaching two animals together normally, but again, the eggs yolk of the egg, the bird's eggs that cracked and the eggs that I threw out because the yolks were really weird for whatever reason. They were very orange. Um, and two rolled away this morning. I threw the eggs out. One, I meant them to crack so the animals could have it, but two of them rolled down the hill under my car, so God knows what's going on with them right at this moment. But um, this morning I told you another blue egg had fell on the deck, and it, you know, it made me very sad, of course. But then the energy here was coming up of the casket and the end of the mountain challenge, the unearthing of something dead and buried of coins and money that will be coming to you, the tiger doing something risky or taking a chance, the journey of death and transcendence, pennies from heaven and they're great, with the underlying energy of the teapot of ayahuasca and shrooms. And that was coming up on uh, the goo was up. I'd watched it before, but it came up again yesterday. Um, and deep friendships with the same sex after perhaps after fun and grapes of wrath, or someone leaving your life, or feeling like you're in a financial pinch, go out and have some fun. After the tower of solid foundation, suddenly the throne is empty, perhaps. 
the harp, the jug, the bag, and the purse with great happiness, light-hearted, carefree time, pulling strings and the pitcher being full, bag on a bench or a bag of money left for you, be careful about a bag spilling over or being hit or knocked down. And I experienced that too, like a, a pot of dirt in the front got knocked over. I don't know who knocked it over. And then my plant in the back kept falling over and that was nobody's fault. It just kept falling over. I haven't planted it yet. And then the, the eggs cracking. So things kept falling. And then, um, and one was a rose bush that I haven't planted yet. The bird's nest. And then I told you that I saw a deer right outside the back door. And then a beaver this morning. I think that was a beaver, unless it was a ground, uh, a ground hog. I should look that up because I should know what they look like, but I never see them, so I never remember what they look like. Um, let's see, one second. Is it a groundhog or um, let's see. I think I'm looking under the wrong thing here. So I guess it was a groundhog. Let me just see the beavers too. I mean, he was really close. So cute. He's been living under our deck, I guess, because he's been driving Teddy crazy. I don't know which one it was. They're both kind of similar. But anyway, it was that kind of size animal. Um... So again, there's that energy from the cards too of a barrel being knocked over. So things being knocked over or a bag being knocked over and money falling out. And that can just be representative of stuff. A new job. So watch your purse strings perhaps at a new job. That water is coming up like gold. That water is spilt is like losing gold. And maybe we're going to need water. Maybe it's good. we'll have a dry spell and you need some water saved up. Or a younger woman and Great Wall of China. And again, water is emotions so maybe somebody's emotions dry up with with each other right so the rooster again coming up is the arrogant boastful person you should not cross and the young woman in a misunderstanding with the rooster or wish not granted in deep friendship with the same sex and again there's this energy of the taurus and bull locking horns with the changing of the guards of the north node made of plenty and again made of plenty of material things bread representing a period of prosperity here or a new home or a new attitude, perhaps cleaning out the house, the career, the desk with a feather, pen, and plant, and um, when I looked at this picture of the feather on the desk and I looked right up, I saw my Mary, Mother Mary stone right here, the one that's got markings on it, and that's, it was referencing that stone, like the philosopher's stone right? That Sophia, the Mother Mary energy. And then October was coming up with the desk updated. Pay attention to your work by October. So the cracked cup came up again, the, cra the eggs cracked and the things falling over, perhaps some kind of dissatisfaction with life in some area of your life, whether something's broken or a death or an ending, the carriage and the desk, the casket and the broken cup after a death back right back to work, right? Could make somebody very satisfied. They don't get to actually work on their grief. And then the box, the scales and the man came up that you will receive a gift, perhaps a chest or something of justice or equality with man to stay in balance and reminding you to stay in balance. Uh, one card at the end here was the fair woman. So someone perhaps of light complexion or gray or blonde hair. And the tiger with coins where the journey is now over. Now there's another mountain to overcome, right? Because after the valley of death is another peak to climb. So then the second section of leaves here was the nine and the, uh, at 9.58, the hermit and the four of swords or the 5D connection and the underlying energy of the seahorse and the wishbone. In family matters where a wish is granted, Pegasus and the horseshoe or perhaps someone gets their walking papers. The underlying energy of the tortoise, who's slow but sure, with Cain and Abel, pay attention to health, health and affairs of the family tree, or perhaps the tree's health, or the family's health. 
where the ego is triumphant over troubles or obstacles or challenges. And again, perhaps the focus is your family's health or, or your family's support system, right? The health of your support system. As the eagle soars right over any issues with the seahorse in family matters. Uh, the turtle was coming up as being slow and um, Jesse, our turtle, when I was young, that died, came up when that came up. Uh, but the turtle, the man, the tree, the eagle, and the seahorse being slow to heal the man or cane and the tree. And then the eagle was coming up as the gullible, which is able, and then the seahorse. So man was coming up as the cane, right? The one who beats the eagle or the one that's gullible, able, the seahorse. So coming up as the tree and then the, the tree horse, it always comes up as Pegasus, the sun. And the man with the cane used on able emotional horse or the horror that sees. You see the man or man is the place and who is the being? I am that I am. And who am I? Who am I? Yes. <laughs> so instead of who am I, it's, you're saying that because who is you? You're the who man. I am that I am. Who am I? Yes, who am I? The man, which can be short for Monday or Mongolian, an old Japanese currency from 1870, the badge of the Japanese family or nobility, or man, the way the Jamaicans or Shropshire say man. Husband, my, or to monitor or watch. I wonder, monsieur, hand, language, and the human or person. One, you, moon, shall, to remember, lament, world, I, money, tree that bears fruits or nuts. So what came up regarding the definition of man, from man, the place of man that the who's came from, I looked up the Mongolia. Golia means giant beetle. And so what comes up with all these definitions of man? The English beetle with Japanese noble family, who wonders so that first john was coming up with yoko as the beatles and the one who wonders with sign language and monsieur which is french or is a lord and then of course paul comes up and the husband which is the hughes band the humans band and the lament, which is the wailing and the weeping, right? As my guitar gently weeps. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, or Sophia, let it be. And so Paul wrote that about his mother after his mother passed and connected with him. And that was from HuffPost.com. The Beatles became interested in transcendental meditation, this came up separately from before, in the late 1960s. As per John Gray, because I was watching that on the Next Level Soul podcast this morning. And John Gray is the one who wrote Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. It was very interesting, actually. And so he brought up first the Maharaji, Mahesh Yogi. And then this came up regarding the Beatles. When I looked it up, the Beatles, it just came up with this article about the Maharaji, uh, Mahesh, Mahesh Yogi. And J. Guru Diva literally means glory to the shining remover of darkness the universal salutation and also next to the Beatles words from the song were coming up nothing's gonna change my world which is the ballad of Yoko and John or John and Yoko at 1028 which is the wheel of fortune and the two of, of wands are twin flames and that's when my daughter left this morning Um, so, and there's a John there too. So Paul and John recorded the song about John and Yoko, uh, the song about their relationship. And some radio stations blocked it because they used the word Christ and crucify in, uh, about the relationship, you know, um, and so they didn't like it at the time. But this was in a 50 years anniversary from the Ed Sullivan show where the comment came up that they were more popular than Jesus, the Fab Four always interested in getting higher. George considered the quiet beetle, msn.com, and Yoko in the news today, 
actually that was um, May 11th, yesterday, 23. And so of course Ringo never comes up. He's kind of always the fourth the fourth wheel, always being left behind in the fourth quarter. His birthday is 7-7, 7, 7, 1940, which adds up to 28, which is the same life lesson number as my dad. As, as Ringo posted his, his tour, and on my dad's birthday, he's playing in Bend, Oregon, where my dad lived. And they both had the same life lesson number. Um, so he came in 18... August 18th, 1962, which is very significant because that's within the um, Lions Gate portal. And the uh, and 1987, the convergence, which this year is another convergence point in 23, so every 20 years. And that's this summer. I don't know what the exact day is, like the 17th or 13th, I forget what it is. But um, so his tour came up because they were advertising that in September he'll be in Rio Rancho, New Mexico, which I, I guess they don't always do New Mexico. And that's May, that was listed May 8th, 23. And, oh, by the way, um, the day he joined the Beatles was 8 18, 62, which adds up to 44, which is that Hercules energy of the uh, Four of Cups. And then we come back to Mon again, M-O-N. Um, May 8th, 2023, which was Monday. So literally, literally listed Monday again, Mun, at, uh, because the day that was listed here was Monday, um, that his tour was posted. So so the 50 years article was posting about 50 years ago, which was May 12th, 1973. So I was looking back to see what I was doing, because I was in junior high school at that time. I guess I was 12 in junior high school, and that would have been the end of seventh grade for me and on Ringo's birthday, 7-7. And I told you about Ringo's picture, and I think it must have been that year where I won that picture at a, at a junior high school dance. So how cool is that? It took, I would never have remembered that's when I got the picture. I, I, I remember I got sometime in junior high school, but I'd forgotten what it was. But it was a high school dance where, you know, if you, you won a little dance prize. I think that was my freshman year in junior high school, if you can call it freshman. So at 1046, we have the seahorse and the mermaid. Again, Pegasus and Andromeda. Where Pegasus is P and gaseous, and Andromeda is and hair which references Aquarius, but also references the hair uh, of Rapunzel, right? That the mouse can climb up, can climb up to reach her, but also that wild hair of Aquarius, you know, the rainbow hair comes up of Andromeda. So the, the Pegasus being P and gaseous and the, the feminine energy being and hair, right? Their side, their side piece there of Rapunzel. And Rapunzel came up as reaping until... L, which is the right angle of the lamb to father leap. And then the pineapple came up. So the pineapple always reminds me of 50 first dates automatically. And the card was reconciliation. So the pineapple reconciliation with 50 first dates and the 10 of cups of emotional fulfillment, the seahorse and the woman or Hawaiian dance and the ant force work, achievement, success, the wreath, and sorrow over a loss. Oh, I forgot. When I was in uh, the retreat with Elizabeth um, in Hawaii in 18, I think it was. I can't remember, I think. Um, we were learning how to dance in Hawaii. And it was just bringing that in because I wasn't getting that. First I was getting, um, was the dance that I won the picture of, of, I can't remember his name, Ringo. Why can't I say Ringo? The dance that I won, was it a Hawaiian dance? I don't know, maybe it was. But the, now it's coming up as when I had the retreat because we were dancing together in Hawaii, not the island of Hawaii, but 
um, the ant force was then coming up of work, achievement, and success. And Hawaii is the setting, right, for 51st dates. So that was coming up as well. And again, the dance of the seal or otter. What was it? Um, the wreath and sorrow over loss. And again, that scene where the, they run the they run over the the seal, but you know he doesn't get hit. He's so cute. But then the the dog and May comes up with protection from a powerful friend. And again, it was referring back to me, not because of me, but as a reference for you was Teddy and me, right? The dog in May with me and the ants. And I talk to you about my ants all the time. Um, and again, she lost her memory in that car accident and 51st dates. The eagle dives in over and over again until it clicks. The ant is working hard to get over a loss. And the dog is the woman's best friend because... If the man is a dog, then he has the ability to be the God in him. If he's a dog man, who seeks God? So at 1059, the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Swords, the underlying energy of the yoke and the moon and Yoko Ono coming up again. At the eclipse and feeling tied down, and she was in the news yesterday or today about, you know, the one who kind of transcended all the negative publicity about her feeling tied down and then the gong an exciting work with the rabbit multiplying resonant and the sound chamber of peace and harmony and wind chimes the cobweb protecting you from negative forces beyond your control and the butterfly transforming for the better and the bow that you are highly thought of perhaps the bow and the wish bone where a wish is granted here and the gong show is coming up. That was the first place I ever performed a song I wrote in high school. I, I don't know how I got the courage to do that in high school, but I did. I, I did a duet. We both played the piano together, me and my friend from high school, at this gong show at Gwen at Mercy College. I don't know why that's coming up, but it is. Um, and then the club came up that someone's trying to force your hand, perhaps with a club or wand or bam bam. Firecrackers, excitement. And again, the 4th of July or a bat and a ball, the throne. And again, that could be a bat, like someone trying to badger you into going to a ball with them or some kind of dance or a bar. And then the throne of authority, of the path of one, a marriage or hammock, vacation or retirement with elephant and a long journey that leaves you wiser at the end, come what may, loyal and never forgets the elephant's trumpet. Ears like fans. I don't know if they're referencing Trump. I guess so. Calling all hounds to turn around. So again, if they can be a dog, that's good. Because then that means they can also be the God in them. Turn around every now and then. Right? So Bonnie Tyler's coming up. And it's coming up as Bonnie Tyler lives. As in Liv Tyler, but also lives. Bright eyes. Every now and then I fall apart. And T-Y-L means tool or the veil, the brick or the bald one, right? The balding crown, one who balds, the bon, bonnie, right? The cap, the, the bonnet. And it was coming up as the bonnie or give a dog a bone, a ticket to paradise, a shoulder to cry on, a tree to lean on, able and hot union, i.e. in show of power, to read at the sea or the beach or the shore, the ocean in large numbers and neutral, the clay tool or one with brick tools. The high road of one, the throne being empty means that the crown is bald and to bring the veil or quote unquote Bonnie to protect and cover the enlightened soul. Perhaps forced to go to a club so a wish could be granted with empty throne, marriage to hammock and a catch. The throne awaits and waits to be laid in honeymoon suite with beautiful toilet on Hawaii and 50 first dates at 1127, which is the alignment with the flame. The horse with no name. There you go.
All right, I'm sorry. If you don't get the messages in this three hours that I just did, I can't help you because it is so profound. I'm just going to pull an energy deck so we can go. It was just 304 and it's 316 on my clock, which is the Empress and the Tower, Mother Nature and the Tower, or sudden events, epiphanies, sexual exchange. And it's just 30 on this clock, the union of the Empress and the Emperor, or Mother Nature and the top dog. And what is our takeaway from all this? As remember, we had Leo and Taurus and Cancer between It's like this leap, like skip, it's like skipping over from Taurus now to Cancer and Leo, skipping past Gemini, because that is the June romance. Perhaps when people will be disappearing. <laughs> Very interesting. There's Colonel Clink's been coming up a lot here, too. All right, just from the energy deck, what's coming through came right up. Look at that. 38, the fourth chakra, the Queen of Cups, the Mary Magdalene energy, and the Archangel Raphael of the Healed Heart. 